What's going on, guys? This episode is brought to you by Manscaped, and this month they have released a new set of boxers. They got three different styles. More importantly, they're tagless, anti-chafing, cooling, moisture wicking, and most importantly, they have a special jewel pouch for your nuts. So after all the trimming, deodorizing, making them look good, smell good, put these boxers on and you are in style. So check this out. I'm going to send you to the website. These are the three styles they got. These are pretty cool. I like these. Um, these look the most comfortable though. But anyways, use code RBP, get 20% off and free shipping or go to manscaped.com forward slash RBP and also get the 20% off and free shipping. Check it out today, guys. What the fuck? You're both late. You're both ten minutes late. Where'd you? What happened to you guys? Okay. You don't. You, you don't. Who's late? Know. You both are late. Both of you. Oh. Guy, what were you doing? Are you talking to Starbucks girl the whole time? Is that why you're fucking late? <laughs> you still fight with your girlfriend, guy? No. <laughs> you guys are all assholes. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, <laughs> what? Paul, Paul's, Paul's Ian's, Ian's not even here. He yeah, just left. Yeah. Paul's been out of the loop for a little while. Yeah. Guys, well, I'll, I'll listen guys, to the text though. Guys, is Ian to- technically late? Who's, who was later? Ian's thing popped up one second before yours. Oh. It was something. <laughs> uh, so, okay, I've been wait, dying to hear what happened. So you went on a date with Starbucks girl. <laughs> what are you talking about? I just, well, you said you that. Had, was I that never said time? that. Who Ian, said that? that? I didn't say that. Okay. I was under the impression you'd gone on dates. That's what we thought. Who I mean, said that? You, you said that. When? When? On when did time? I ever say that? You guys put things in my fucking mouth. Why is the start of the podcast always about fucking the Starbucks, bro? <laughs> you have because you have the most interesting shit going on. We're married. Yeah. So what happened? The guy pick up a girl at Starbucks. Wait, all three of you are married. Yeah. Well, where I didn't pick up a girl at Starbucks, but but where have you been? <laughs> I just talked yeah. to you, like where have you last been week. In the past eight months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I've been busy. <laughs> yeah, guys. Paul's been all over the world judging. He's, I have he's, all over he's, Canada. He's in hot in high demand right now. I am. Um, hmm. So uh, fill Paul in on what's going on. Yeah. What is going on? I don't know. You tell us. <laughs> you tell Nothing. us, bro. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> what's the Starbucks story? I don't know. Here, Paul, you don't remember the Starbucks story with the girl with, that would draw the hearts on the cup? And oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, so what, that, 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 that developed? No. <laughs> <laughs> then what's, then what's the story then? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we thought there was a story. He's not. He's Nothing not happened. Fat. But usually when a guy doesn't want to fess up, it means there's a story that he doesn't want yes, to tell. exactly. Yeah. We know yeah, your routine now. Happened. Don't, first of all, don't act like you know me. Okay, we don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> we already established last week that we talk to each other more than anyone else in our lives. Yes. <laughs> Pretty much. It is true. Hey, Paul, answer this question. Do you yeah. do we talk more than two hours a week? Me and you? Yeah. We do that. Seriously. No, no, no. Hold on. Stop, 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 stop. Because he likes to ask those questions in, in lieu of, of you leaning towards him. So no, just leave it right ask, leave it the unbiased way. Okay, do, no, I'll be honest. Do you collectively in a week, yeah. minus the podcast. Me and Fuad? You say, yes, Paul. No, you way and more. fucking Paul. Yeah, way more. Talking about? yeah, yeah, way more than two hours. Do you think besides the podcast, collectively, yeah. you and Fuad talk more than two hours? Yeah, at the gym alone an hour a day. No, no, we don't. Before and after, for I'm sure. Not, you you yeah, fucking knucklehead. <laughs> yeah, I guess yeah. now we do. You know what? You, uh, he's right. Now we do. Now we get to the gym. And we we actually drink. Now, our pre- now we yeah, because we drink no, no, our pre no, we we get there. Now no, we do. Yeah. No, 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 no. Listen, because what we used <laughs> to do was I would pick him up and we would drink our pre workouts on the way to the gym. Yeah. So we would talk for like the fifteen minutes on the way to the gym, and when we got to the gym, we'd usually just start like within five minutes. Yeah. yeah, but now we drink our pre-workouts at the gym. Like all the hostile stuff is there, so we get there, we mix our shit, we sit around and drink our pre-workout for half an hour. Then we start, which replaced us. Used to we used to walk on the treadmill for five or ten minutes before we started, and we talked then when we got to the. Oh, gym. you know what's gonna happen now? He's gonna stop paying to get your grass cut because he's gonna notice that now we talked to you too much. <laughs> he, he asked me. He asked me like a week ago if he could stop paying for it. I said no. <laughs> I, I said, hey man, I love I'm it. Pay- I've been paying to get your grass cut for a year now. I'm like, can I stop? He's like, Wait, nah. what? I, I must have missed something here. Why the fuck are you paying to get his grass cut? Because I'm a good friend. Are you guys Paul- serious? No, because he doesn't want me to go to the gym. 
Well, uh, no. this, is, this is motherfucker is so ungrateful. So <laughs> I am grateful. <laughs> <laughs> one, one day, one day I was like, uh, let's go to the gym. He's like, oh, I got to cut the grass. Can you go later? And I didn't want to wait. So you're like, I'll pay someone to cut your grass. So I was yeah. like, just leave it and I'll pay my landscape guy to come over and cut your grass. Yeah. So he did, and he's been going there ever since. Ever since. <laughs> it's, been, it's, been, it's been two seasons now. You just got him on a billy cycle. Did he, I wait, just get the wait, did, he, did he ever ask if you want him to go back, or he just went once no. and just kept going? He just kept coming. He, he, was, I, just here, he told, was just here last night. Hey, listen, that's a good business model. Yeah, yeah that's good. Just keep that's how you get back. customers. I yeah. told him to keep going. He asked me, and I said, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. "Oh, okay." I thought he just didn't ask anybody; he just kept going. To <laughs> no, and then no. just sent you a bill after. That's a fucking. And didn't even build a Paul, built a Fuat. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't. I never even had a bill yet. That's a gangster I, move. I feel like I'm fortunate in life, and it saves Paul from having to go out there and cut the fucking grass. So why not? I appreciate yeah, it. That's awesome, man. Yeah. And I, I I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him doing the uh, the snowblower. Sure. The snowblower yeah. this year too. Yeah. yeah. yeah hey, I mean, what do I get for being your fucking friend? Because I I, I go through hell. I get nothing. Right now. <laughs> you don't go through hell. Ben goes through hell. Ben's the only one who goes through hell. I don't go, go through hell. hell. You don't go through hell. I deal with your shit just as much as you deal with my no, but shit. What we... shit do I throw at you? you don't even start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? That means that means he has nothing. So he's just throwing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? What? Because anyway, we can, we can cut. Uh, first of all, this isn't this isn't alive. So this we can cut it out. So if you want to try to throw me under the bus, I love to hear this. Shit. What have sip you said? Your, what what sip have you your, sip your fake Texan mug? I'm moving to Texas. This is like I'm getting started. This is the first, <laughs> the first step. That's his, gonna, soft, his soft launch to Texas. To Texas. Like, I'm yeah. gonna I actually tomorrow. called, I actually talked to a real estate agent about it. Five nine. Uh, did you? Yeah, I did. And I actually she set me up with her uh, mortgage broker, but I can't do anything until I have a visa. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, if she's like, if you wanna, if you wanna invest in a place here, she's like, you're literally gonna be like going through a million different things to try and get it done. And who whose realtor was this? Uh, this girl, Heather, messaged me from watching the podcast. Oh, she wow. Said, okay. She said, I'm a real estate agent. I think it's Heather. I'm sorry if that was wrong. <laughs> but um, she messaged me. I have me, a said, real estate agent, but damn, Heather. Well, no, she, uh, she hooked me up with a mortgage person. And then they called me and said, look, if you don't have a visa, then you're a foreign investor, which means you have to put down like 50%. Yeah, yeah it's and it's like you have to jump through all these fucking hoops and i'm like well i'll just wait till i get my working visa then it's like 35 or something but yeah because she said because she said if i get my working visa then it's, i can put as low as like i think she said as low as 3.5 percent down really oh wow yeah, yeah. Wow. so that's even less than like the standard 20 well here is five and i was like sure are you sure first I don't know time. That's for first time I'm for first time yeah. five yeah five 35 or five there five, five. Wow, it's like twenty. Here, but only that's... for first time home buyers, though. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and that's not. And it, obviously, it's uh, it's under a million, right, Paul? Uh, yeah. What do you mean? The five percent. No, only for homes under a million. The loan, yeah. the loan, the yeah. loan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I think over a million, you need twenty percent or something like that. I can't remember. Maybe I'm not really sure. Anyway, so I've already looked into it. So now I got to work on. Actually, Ian, we, we probably should talk about that. I have to work on get my visa. Yes. Ian, how baked are you right now? I'm not baked up. Your eyes are fucking red. <laughs> is <this a> light <laughs> here? If I had a roll of dice, you're high as fuck. <laughs> oh. you, got that glaze, you, got the, you got that glazed donut look. <laughs> it's, the light. it's the light. It's just the light, guys. I swear. It's this. You know what it is? You know what it is? It's this. I got a candle burning here. That's what oh. it is. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Not me. Uh, see, just that. Look at that. It's look, the they're room. normal. That's the way the embers blow off your eyeballs. Yeah, see, look at that. They're perfectly normal. Yeah. <laughs> A couple so, what's going on this week? What did we miss? We missed the France show. Yep. France, yep. Yeah. Patrick Actually, took the win. We yep. should uh one point. Oh, we bet, did we bet on that? Yeah, uh wait. No, we didn't. One second, I gotta download this. Oh, uh, the, the Italy one we did. Yeah, we did Italy, but not France. Did we okay. do France? We did who won, who won Italy? Uh wait, which one? Andrew, so no, Andrew the Arnold, then who won the next one? Well, France was the next one. France was last week, this past week. Italy was two what weeks did we, before that. Yeah. What, what did we do predictions on? France? No. Just wait a second. Who, who won Italy? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Italy yeah. was two weeks before the yeah. Arnold. And who won that? And that does, uh, Vlad won that show. Oh, the guy from oh, the UK? Yeah, yeah. Vlad, yeah. Vlad, no, not from the UK. I don't know where Vlad's from. I know Ukraine. he trains it. Ukraine. Ukraine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. UK, Vlad, not UK. <laughs> I said Ukraine. 
<laughs> yeah, it's not the UK, bro. No, I said Ukraine. <laughs> no, I said, not UK. No, no, no. That's not you what said, I said. Yeah, time out. You said no. no I'm trying I to, know UK. You're not going to get this timing. He didn't Stop. mean it. He didn't mean Stop. it was the UK. You said UK. <laughs> no, I did. I swear, I didn't. UK. You know, I didn't say that for us. Yeah. I've always fallen on this one. I don't think he I heard him too. say Ukraine. Yeah. You yeah. Uh, there you go, back. guy. You're Trying to get me. No, I don't. I love making Trying fun of Paul. You make fun of me all the time. I was <laughs> when the guy started saying UK. So I'm like, I thought he said Ukraine. Yeah. Um, no, Vlad won Italy. Then Andrew, yes. won, <laughs> Andrew won Arnold. And then uh, Patrick won Patrick, France. Yes. Yeah. Um, I think uh, I'm, gonna, I'm waiting for some photos to download. But uh, from the photos I saw, I thought Mark was a little off. Yeah. Yeah. Still, like more so he, looked, than he, he looked better than the Arnold's, but he's he was, still got a little way to go conditioning wise. Yeah, it's kind of like like Ian said the week before because we were talking and I said I thought he could bring it around because I thought he just spilled over. And Ian was like, Well, I think he's still got a little bit of fat to go, which yeah, I said, I don't know how much is fat versus water. I think, yeah, really which fat. ended up being yeah. true because he did bring it back, but it was still like there was a little bit left. He brought a bit of water off, but the still the fat was still there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Patrick ended up winning. Uh, a lot of people were upset about Jamie not winning. Yeah, Jamie well, was Jamie looked third. really good. He was, was third, Jamie right? Third, Jamie third was yeah. Third, but I guess Milos was telling me because me and Milos had a breakdown. He said yeah. there wasn't that many comparisons, and he said Jamie didn't really get compared with the top two enough, even though he was third. Huh. And we looked at some shots, but I'm going to download some better ones now. But how many guys were in the show? Which is interesting that he says that there wasn't a lot of comparisons when it was a one point decision. Yeah. Between first and second, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but he was, I think he's meaning. But he's he saying there wasn't comparison enough comparisons for with third. Jamie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So, okay, I think this is downloaded here. Let me see if I can bring this up. Uh, sorry, guys. I should have done this ahead of time. Uh, but, yeah, I saw some pictures of Jamie, and I'm like, I, just from the photos I saw, I'm like, yeah, he could have. I'm going to take a piss. Go. He could have. Uh, yeah, bring your phone with you. I was like debating it. He usually do. Just bring it with you. <laughs> Just leave oh, the fucking phone guy. I go can't. Check. It's charging. It's gonna oh, die. Okay. It's charging. Oh, okay. I got really good. This is from Victor. Oh, let me get his fucking name. Victor. Victor Kalberg. Thank you so much for. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Relax. Okay, it's a video. I think, or it's yeah, it's a video. Oh, oh yeah. These eight, these uh, 4K videos. I saw these. I can't see Jamie. He's right here on the right. I know, but you guys this, are in the way. Like this is on YouTube, right? What do you mean we're in the way? Change your view. Yeah, yeah. just you got to move it, Paul. You okay. got to put like a uh, gallery view. Gallery view? Show grid view, right? Show grid video? Sure. No. Just yeah, move. do show grid and then just stretch it out the other way from the bottom right corner. Yeah, okay, got it. Okay, so looking at this, I don't know. It looks like. Patrick's not really in the pose yet, so I don't know. Let's play it. Okay, I think everybody's there. So, front double. I, I don't know why Jamie isn't standing here. Yeah, I know. Must not have been shuffled around yet. Yeah, mm. must, this is how long is the call. They might have just got here, you know? Yeah. Okay, so, Paul, as a pro judge... Is Jamie always going to suffer because his legs are this long? Or when you see this, are you like, that's comparable to these two? I think it's comparable. He's starting to fill up that frame now. You know, like he's got like a, you know, he's, he's got more of an X silhouette going on but now I mean, than. So let's explain to people watching. So you guys tell me if I'm wrong, Paul, you or Ian, whatever. But when I see this, I think the main issue is because Jamie's height, like the, the gap between his legs is bigger. Whereas if you look at Patrick, like his adductors touch down to here. For sure. And so they do same, same thing with Mark. Yeah. So it's like he, I think he's losing a little bit there. Is that accurate? He's so or? big, though, man. Yeah. But he's got like, like his sweep has really come up. Um, but yeah, he still needs a little bit more inner thigh, I think, to fill out his frame. But his, but his sweep has definitely come up and yeah. he's starting to fill out that frame now. You know, it's a massive frame. It's going to take time, but he's starting to fill it out, it looks like to me. So what I'm, what I'm trying to do is try to explain from a judge's point of view why they would place him third. If that's, I, if that's how you see it so far. Well, this isn't the only pose. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. Yeah, right, yeah, pose. yeah. In this, in this pose, like, would you see him? Where in, this pose, see him in this pose? In this pose, definitely a top three. Yeah, I might even have him second in this pose. I yeah. I, I feel like Mark wins this pose, in my opinion, but. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so. It's, we'll it's a toss-up between the two of him and Patrick, but. 
I like, I like, I like Patrick's silhouette. I, I like, I like Patrick's look in that pose too. Yeah. I just wish he had a little bit more detail in the, in the midsection yeah, when he puts his arms over his head. He's got good arms, like a good sweep to both sides. Yeah. His legs are, legs are nice and full. Waist is small. Small waist. I don't know if this is just me. I have a thing when guys like flex their abs like this, but it kind of blurs them, but it makes their waistline look smaller at the same time. So yeah. Like, I don't know. Like good and bad, you know? Like he's elongating kind of rather than like flexing them. No, well, he is flexing them. No, no, I don't think he's flexing me, and I think he's trying watch, to do a vacuum. Go back, go back, and watch him hit the pose. Okay. okay. You'll see he'll set up, and then and he'll blow into it and come down into it. Looks, he's up, and then. No, he's still holding it. Oh, up. he's still up. Oh, yeah, wow, his yeah. waist is really small. Then, yeah, right? he's trying. That, he's I, trying to do what Mark. It's like his rib cage. Yeah. His rib cage is like super narrow. I wonder if he'd look better if he crunched down a little is bit he, and show more detail. He, <laughs> I don't know because his, his lats are not super thick and wide. That's why I thought he was already blowing down because he was losing a bit of lat width, but yeah. it's really, really small. No, know? well, yeah. this is the thing with Patrick, right? We've always said his back is a little lagging. Yeah. And then, like, yeah. you look at Mark, he's pulling up. So you're getting, you know, that long and lats flare up a little more. It's a different look, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, no, I think Patrick, because that was when I was going through all his body parts, that was the one body part I was going to say he could use more thickness yeah. out, out. Yeah, yeah. More, for sure. his back lats spread too, you see it. What were you going to yeah. say, Guy, about this? I just I don't know if it's the lighting or just the his his tan or the like it's the detail I don't see still. Well, look at his but quad. Look at his quad though, guy. Like look at the quad here. You can see cross striations in that in middle of his quad there. Yeah, like, I'm sure. Are... But looking at his skin texture too, he looks like he's super dry, which I'm sure when you're sitting five feet away in good light looks a lot different than. Yeah, yeah I'm just I'm just wondering if he's not using enough oil or something. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, dryness, dryness like that, I don't think converts to video super well. You know? Yeah, yeah, and I think you miss a lot of transitions when people yeah. when someone's that dry. Yeah. So let's see the front lat spread here. This is Jamie's best shot, I think. Yeah, he's got a great front lat. That's spread. a great front lat. I mean, yeah, it's, it's huge too. So. You know, that pose see, like Mark, Mark definitely needs to come down a few more pounds. Like you can see, yeah, the, you can the, see yeah. it. it's yeah. all blurred. Like all these striations are all blurred. Yeah. And when yeah. he stretches the skin on his abs, it's a little blurred still there. Yeah. Upper, upper chest and shoulders. I honestly think Jamie could be winning the shot. Yeah. I, I could agree with you there. Yeah. 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 Like, look how fucking definitely the most aesthetic in that pose. Yeah. All right. We'll go on. Paul, as a judge on a front lat like this, do you like when guys flex their chest, pop it up a bit, or like leave it down to like show a little more like depth to it, like uh, like Jamie does? I like whatever shows the taper the best, whatever accentuates the taper so the like best, like Jamie's, Jamie's doing. It's definitely what he's doing. Yeah, that that that's what because like some guys will bring it up really high, and I think you're losing some of your shoulder. I agree with that way, but like I like I like keeping the shoulders squared off and wide like that, yeah. and and uh, hitting it that way. So I'm going to yeah. show you guys something after. But me and Milos touched on this when we were talking about Samson, because Samson, when he does his front last spread, pushes his chest high, really high up, and pulls his shoulders back down. Yeah. And I I told Milos to tell Samson that it might be better for him to do it this way, the way Jamie's doing it. Like does he do it kind of like Patrick there, Fuad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But even yeah. even more pronounced than that. He yeah. Really, yeah, he he was, was like, like yeah. Pose. yeah. What's that guy? It's almost it's more like a Superman pose. Yeah. I mean, he's closer to how Mark Hector is doing it, but his shape is a little different. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, to me, to me, in that pose, you should be showing your taper, front and bottom, or yeah. sorry, from top to bottom. Yeah. Um, like it's not so much about the thickness of your chest in that pose; it's more about the balance uh, and the aesthetics of the and, no, and thickness think, as well. But but I think when guys do this. Uh, what Patrick's doing here. I don't think he's trying to show the thickness of his chest. I think he thinks it's making him look wider. Is, is making his lats look thicker? Yeah, yeah. He's trying to front. bring his lats out. But then, like, let's take the example. Look at the guy far left here. In my yeah. opinion, it's taking away from his chest a little bit here. Yeah, well, he's bringing his shoulders forward, so his traps are actually pronounced yeah. here. This guy's probably yeah. doing, like, Jamie and I'd say Mark probably are doing the best job of it. It's just that Of Mark's... the two different kind of styles, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. One's high up, one's the chest still down, shoulders down. Yeah. I'll show you guys um Samson after this, but let's go through these. So we'll go to side chest. You can see when when Patrick moves, man, there's a lot of fucking yeah. detail. Yeah, there's a lot yeah, of, that's what I'm saying about like the thinness of the, of the skin, the dryness yeah. that might not capture the same on okay. video. I think that's full. His legs look great from the side too, eh? Patrick. Yeah, yeah, he's got that like a keen split down the side. Yeah. But it's just like like I remember when I used to work with Chad, he would tell me you're not ready until you can see this. Like you yes. that, that's yeah, when I, I can see it right down now forever. on the side shots. You can see it, so uh, yeah. well, it's just and like I said the last time, it's not nothing to do with him. It's just I think it's the oil or the color or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're Mark. You can it's see just not coming through on the side of his leg. Still is not quite that same. Look at that guy's yeah, definitely. 
Look at his rear del. Patrick. Patrick. Uh, sorry, Mark. No. This guy over here on the right. Where? This guy here. Second from right. Oh, the, oh, oh yeah. That looks a little funky. I'm yeah. Sorry, yeah. yeah. Shit Mark Mark Hector's chest and delts are so full and round. Yeah, for yeah. sure, right? Eh? Floating delts, leaf. Packs too. So complete. Yeah. So I said chest and delts. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I thought you said arms and delts. So you can see with Mark uh, from the back, he definitely brought it down more. Like you can see, hamstrings are stripped. Yeah. Glute, glutes look harder, but it's just like a thin skin or a thin film. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. It just it's not like one spot. You think yeah. he's, you think it's a fullness issue? No, no. I, no, I think he just has. I think he had a little bit more to go still. I, or, uh, Jamie's condition looks very good that in that yeah. shot. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I, I, I didn't see. I didn't see pictures of him looking that hard. And, so this is one of the shots that me and Milos were talking about that I think Jamie could win. Yeah, because Patrick doesn't show a lot of detail. Well, Patrick has a shallow. His back is his lagging body part. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Mark is not totally in shape. Mm -hmm. Whereas Jamie is showing. Good muscularity, good detail, good conditioning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, definitely one of the most stripped out hamstrings, but from a, from yeah. a little back and, and leg perspective as a whole, I would give it to JP. There, yeah. So yeah. let me ask uh, two professionals, one professional judge and one professional athlete. Do you do either one of you focus on the biceps in this pose? Well, I think you got to focus on like kind of if you have really small arms, it's going to kind of make the shot as a whole. No, no, no. Like, That's not what I'm asking. That's not what I'm asking. I'm asking, what is the primary muscle group you look at when you look at this shot? Me, my the hamstring and back. That's what I would look okay. at. Okay, same here. Yeah, Paul, you. The, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. But I think the biceps complement the pose. Like if you have a flat bicep yeah. in that pose, exactly, I, th yeah. I think it can throw make the pose look a little bit off because then you see the delt and then it's just flat in the bicep. Also, okay. remember, so, it's also it's also called a back double bicep pose. Right. So. No, 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 right. no, no. I know. So I'm gonna. I just want to clarify this because I got to a discussion with somebody uh, in the last comment section. So you're gonna look at every body part in every pose. Like mm -hmm. you're not, you're not really not paying attention to any body part in any pose. You're going to look at all of them. Mm -hmm. But what I was trying to express to him, and this is also goes to people who don't really understand bodybuilding hundred percent. When you do a back double bicep, yes, it's called a back double bicep, but the back is first back yeah. double bicep. Back. You're looking at your back. Then you're looking, are the glutes in shape? You're looking at the hamstrings stripped. I don't know about you guys, but for me, I go like this. And then I look at the arms. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I go from the center down top to bottom and then yeah. outwards. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I just want to make sure we clarify that for people watching. Yep. Um, I think from here. We and go for all back. judges out there, feel free to judge me just to the knee and then back up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jamie's conditioning looks fucking awesome here. For sure. Well, he it's he's even tighter than he was at the Arnold. He looks really yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't like. I saw some photos that he didn't look as hard as this high definition video. Milos told me that he fucking loaded on him like 5,000 grams of carbs over the yeah. course of like, really? Two, yeah, over the course of two days. Jesus. I'm like, how the fuck? Who? He's such a big dude. Jamie. I mean, doing, I, I mean, doing 1,500 grams why of carbs. Why are you doing a back? Why are you doing a back? Say sorry. it again. Uh, sorry, and I didn't mean to interrupt you. What'd you say? Oh, they're doing it again. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why they're doing it again. Yeah, I don't know. That guy's shoulders are wild. I really, really think Patrick. If if Patrick wants to make a dent, yeah, I mean, that's that's yeah. by far his weakest pose. So I don't like yeah. that pose at all. Eh? <laughs> well, he just I think his his back is lagging and he's doing his yeah. best to make it bigger and it's just making it thinner. Yeah. See, like this is how for people watching when you're looking at posing, see how far his elbows are pulled forward. He's trying to create more width than his back actually has. Yeah. And when you look at somebody like Jamie, you see how he's more parallel. Well, th I mean, it's simple. A piece of paper is widest when it's flat, not when it's like. Yeah, flat. I mean, even mm -hmm. even if you look at Mark, like Mark's elbows are straight across; they're not pulled mm -hmm. forward. And Jamie's peeled. Look, look, I mean, look at that. Even right there, look at his his ham his left hamstring up high. Where like, yeah, he has, like a, he has just a very peeled, nice peeled, to him. Yeah, but I think yeah. this is what Milos is talking about because now, if you look at this, it's almost like you could make an argument that Jamie won both the back shots. I know. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. He did. It was funny because just what you guys were talking about, I was still looking at the pictures. I'm like, I'm trying to think of all the shots we've gone through already. I'm like, where's Jamie falling in third? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, you know, like that that's a like I Patrick is third at best in that shot, I think, there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, no disrespect, but yeah. Uh back in the front relax. Oh, they're moving some people. Okay. So yeah, I mean, I'm just seeing a shot like a front relaxed. I Mark looks crazy, you know. Okay, they're moving. I think Mark poses his arms too high in that shot. And he crouches down too low with his legs, I think. He makes himself small. He does very go like bow-legged a bit like that. 
that guy. Yeah. I feel like his arms are like he's lifting his shoulders up too high. Yeah. His ar- arms are a little too far. Yeah, I think it's the arms the most. I agree. His feet too. Too but far. Guys with, that, guys with that kind of shape, that like cobra, long waist, high lat, like Nathan's look, always yeah. looks so good in the front relaxed, you know? Yeah. 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 Or like Chris in a front relax, you know? Let's see. I don't know. You know what? My eyes keep going to Jamie. Yeah. For sure. Me too. Let's see what this side tricep looks like. This is Patrick. Patrick all yeah, day. Patrick looks good in that pose for sure. Yeah, Patrick yeah. all day. There. Yeah. Yeah. I would go yeah. Patrick, Jamie, Mark there. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would. Yeah, I think that's <laughs> accurate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jamie or uh, Mark's side leg hurts him a bit there. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. And he's starting to sweat a little bit, which isn't helping him up top there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Patrick looks really good in that shot. That's a full, like, complete Mark, leg. God, I noticed for that. Sure. When he does he ever side. turn? He, does he ever turn that right leg out? No, no, I haven't seen it yet. No. I wonder, Patrick, if you're listening to this, turn that leg out. No, why apart. would why would you though? This looks freaky as fuck. No, I like I'd, I'd no I'm ju- I'm wondering what it would look like. Probably look crazy. Oh, yeah, no. sure. I'd like to see he probably have would... frustrations going up and down the whole fucking. Quad. No, but we've we've seen his quad from the front, and it, it's not feathered, so it's almost oh. like you'd, I'd rather show mm-hmm. this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? <laughs> Oh, I didn't know. I thought well, I think he has like super deep, like hard detail. I thought you kept saying I couldn't see it. Oh, I here, we'll see it right here. Okay, no, they're not bad. Let's try it again. You're yeah, right, guys. Sorry. Yeah, you're right. Look at right there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I bet you in person, awesome. that's even more impressive. Yeah, you're right, guy. Oh, terrible. Yeah. You could turn it. I apologize, guy. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> hey, did everybody have... hear that? I got the. <laughs> it's like it's like getting struck by lightning twice. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Time out. Listen. There's one thing I've learned from the beginning of this podcast. Oh, here we go. Now we're all gonna get a life lesson. Here we go. Back to <laughs> life lesson. From Machiavelli on. No, 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 not Machiavelli. I'm gonna just uh, say real quick. The one thing I've learned from the start of this podcast is to admit when I'm wrong because it happens fucking often. There's people have come on here and just shot down so many fucking things that I thought were real, and I was like, okay, you're right. You Things are have- bad. Sometimes you just have to fucking suck it up and admit when you're wrong. Yeah. All right. Um, let's go through. What are we at now? Ab and thigh? Hmm. Uh, Great shot for Patrick, too. Patrick was mm-hmm. too. Yeah. Not That's a bad shot for Jamie, to be honest with you. pretty even on mm-hmm. cross. Yeah. Man. Like, they all yeah. have strengths. I, I really like Patrick. Just like from top to bottom, his calves look really good. I was doing him that shot. Quads look good. Waist looks yeah. small. I, I give you I give you Patrick's probably winning this shot, but between mm-hmm. Jamie and, and Mark, I don't really know, except Jamie's harder. Yeah. 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 I can give it to Jamie over. And again, I don't like the way Mark's hitting that pose. Mark's hitting it too crunched in. Yeah. yeah. I like the way Jamie does his legs there because it actually yeah. eliminates yep. that gap. Yeah, I think he could pop yeah. his and chest up a little more and get a little more out of them. You can see like Patrick is like he's a little more pop forward with them instead of like sunken in. That side shot looks good that on Jamie good. too. Yeah. I really think, listen, I think Mark has so much fucking potential. I just think he's just yeah. a little off the mark. Yeah, yeah, he just needs to. I mean, look, you get a bunch of new muscle. You want to show it off, you know? Mm-hmm. I think Mark needs some more hamstrings too, though, for his side poses. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's not perfect, but I think. Especially because, like, his shoulders and arms and chest are so round up. Yeah. Top. But like, you have to admit, like, this this structure is pretty fucking wild. Like, oh, it's great. A, right there's, awesome. a lot, there's a lot he can do with that. For oh, sure. Yeah. yeah um okay so we got some most muscles here mark blows me away in this shot just the shoulder width <laughs> tiny waist um but jamie is like this is i don't like crazy. that most muscular on jamie you like way, I, the hands on hips i don't, I don't know it. if i i don't know if i love the way he's yeah. doing his legs but his upper body looks fucking nutty like yeah his, his biggest shoulders look he loses his lats on that pose too you think yeah, so? I, like, think I can see if you're sitting at, from our angle, but yeah, if you're right, sitting yeah. at the judges' table, you can see that there. But yeah, still, yeah. In, yeah, in person, might well, be because he's tall. He doesn't have like the most gigantic arms in reference to his frame. So I think he's uh-huh. losing more of his arms there. Uh-huh. You don't think the hands class? It, it shows his, his shape a lot, and I'm sure if we were sitting below, his lats would look crazy there too. Yeah, yeah. Wait, there he is with his legs down. That's a Who's freaky that? shot, man. When a guy's six six, hey, Jimmy, for sure. You don't, think, you don't think the hands class would be freakier? No, I'm not in saying front? that. No, I'm not yeah. saying that. I think it would probably look great too. I just think, I think it. Okay, I shouldn't. Have, I I said I didn't like that. I shouldn't have said that. I think there's a better most muscle you could hit than that. I'd like to see Jamie just hit a crab. You know. Yeah, Jamie. Uh, he, he like good fullness and dryness too. The way he really peaked for this show. Well, he looked very like hard, like granite. Yeah, hard. and full too. Yeah, this is the top. Well, two. The way we're judging it, he's winning for crazy. See, this is yeah. This is this is I think what Milos was talking about. I don't think there was so much of a gap that. 
uh, Jamie didn't belong in this last call out. I agree. Like, I don't think it was just between these two. I think um, there's an argument to be made that Jamie should have been up here with these two. I agree 100%. Yeah, I agree. Just out of his conditioning, I think is better than Mark's and his back shots are better than Patrick's. So you can make an argument for some shots for him, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mark's like fullness and roundness is super nice, but the condition is just not quite there to compete with Patrick at that. So I made, a, sta I made a statement a couple weeks ago, Paul, and I said, Mar and then people have kind of been roasting me a little bit for it. And I, obviously I was taking it with a grain of salt. I didn't mean exactly, but I said that Mark's physique reminded me of Brandon Curry's. Yeah. Oh yeah. I could see that for sure. Way, right. Like when you look from the front, He's got that tiny waist, got big arms, round shoulders, yeah. his back. This is, is like wide. A, this is like a 2016 Brandon Curry. Yeah, that's yeah, what I was yeah. that's what I was saying. I was saying like one day, because even his legs yeah. have a similar look to them. For sure. Yeah. I agree 100 percent with that. 15 to 20, 2017 Brandon Curry. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, yeah. You get, why'd you get roasted for that? Because people are like, Oh, you're calling him Brandon Curry and he didn't even win. And I'm like, I didn't call him Brandon, Brandon Curry. I said well, there was similarities. <laughs> well, Brandon Curry didn't start out as Mr. Olympia either. I mean, he, you know, his oh. first few years, he uh No, but know, I he... think I think people took what I said as he's just like Brandon Curry. And I'm like, Yes, but not Brandon Curry currently. Yeah, he has, right. He has Brandon similar... Curry was very heavily criticized for his conditioning in his stuff. Yeah. From early on, yeah. It wasn't until he went to Kuwait that he started bringing that up, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so like I think he, he, that's what, 18? Like yeah, yeah. I think the added muscle. Brandon was never him. really in shape until like. No, like even the, he wasn't really even in shape until Kuwait. Yeah, well, he wasn't yeah. in shape until he like won the Olympia. Yeah. 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 Well, not until then, but I mean around then. Yeah. Well, I think the I think the added muscle that he put on in Kuwait also helped him get for sure. better too. For sure, but his conditioning got a lot better too, though. But yeah, that's that's all he needed was conditioning, really. Uh, well, he needed more muscle, but the condition. Yeah, but I'm saying that would have came. That would have came with time. I mean, he just yeah. once he had that muscle, he just needed the detail, and he did. How old is Brandon? Thirty-five, thirty-six. Who? Uh, yeah, he's like thirty-seven, I think. Brandon? So, Brandon yeah. is he? Yeah. No, I thought he was older. I think he's thirty-eight, thirty-nine. No. Really? I don't know. I don't want to say anything. I don't know for sure. I'll do it. Uh, okay, I just want to go through this just because we talked about it. I already went through oh. it with Milo, so Samson. I just want to show you the front lat spread, kind of what I was talking about. Mm -hmm. He is insanity, bro. Is this recent? This is like uh, last week oh, or whatever. Yeah, I see what you're so, saying. Yeah, he really pushes so his you chest see up. How, eh? See how high Google, he pushes Google his chest. says that Brandon Curry's 39. Okay. Oh, okay. Huh. Um, yeah, but yeah, you, you see kind of how he rolls his shoulders back yeah. and pushes his chest up real high? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure when he's shredded, this is going to look better. But I just feel like sure. if he squared off down. his shoulders, yeah. Yeah, it, bring it, it down a little bit. Show more back. And I think it would accentuate that X frame even more. It probably make quads are just ridiculous. I mean, all he has to Jeez. do is stay there and just lean forward a little. Yeah, bit. Yeah, right. Yeah, Bring it down a little bit. That's yeah. exactly what I used to do, guys. Yeah, I would tell, get tell yeah. a little more. I would yeah. get in this shot, and then I would roll my shoulders forward. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I mean, this. I don't want to go through the whole thing again because I. He already, looks fucking wild. I think it's mm -hmm. crazy that he's like three something. He's, he's like 11 weeks out and he's already got this kind of conditioning showing. Yeah, man. Samson, my man. So good for him. Um, <laughs> anyway, so that was France. What's coming up next? Is a Legion next? Um, oh, yeah. Is that what well, is that is that open? Yeah. Bodybuilding? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah Legion. Yeah. Isn't like is it, uh where Brett, is it? isn't Brett, isn't Nevada, Brett, isn't it? Isn't isn't Brett doing that show, Ian? No, I think Brett's doing I don't know if I should speak for Brad. I believe he's doing Romanian. Okay. What do you got there, Fuad? I'm going to do some reflecting. <laughs> got the place. Paul thinks that every time you have a cigar. I, still, I associate it with. Paul thinks that every time you have a reflecting. cigar, it's yeah. about contemplation. Yeah. I don't want any more contemplation in my life. Wait, no, you what? think too much? It's Wait, about you contemplation. Think he's having, you Not think so he's much. having a cigar just because he wants to think? That's, that's what, what I like to do, guy. Paul thinks. Every, when every I, time when Paul I, has a cigar, he's contemplating. I associate it with like deep thinking. But why can't you associate? Ian, how much it? deep thinking do you do? Wait, wait, wait. Why can't you associate it with just too like, much? What what happens if what happens if there's like a bunch 20, of guys there? Hours you know? a day. Yeah. You know. Well, normal. Like I'm saying, if I have a cigar by myself, I have with a group of guys that's different. It's social. Well, what else would you do if you had a cigar by yourself? Dance around naked? Like of no, I would just, I would just, I would just be, you know, thinking. What I'm saying think... is that's like if if anybody's having a cigar by themselves, they're going to fucking think about things. Not necessarily. You could be doing a lot of things. You'd be watching TV. You could be uh, cut too much. Who's going to watch TV with a cigar? No, that's, that's even more reason to associate it with. 
I don't what? think cigars are contemplated. If everyone would sit and contemplate when they would smoke cigars, then obviously he's going to associate smoking cigars. I no, no, I'm saying right. everybody would sit and contemplate with a cigarette if they were by themselves. If everybody's by themselves, they're going to sit and think cigar. About- a cigar with oh, birds disagree. a long time. You sit and contemplate stuff. You don't sit and contemplate stuff when you're taking a shit. I, yeah, no, I think yeah. right because a cigarette. What are you thinking. talking about? You contemplate deep, stuff when you're by yourself all the time. Is my okay, point. Him, deep thinking, guy. Because a yeah. cigar burns a long time. Yeah. So, like a, cigarette, deep, a cigarette's like what? Three or four minutes? Where right. Tell you're gonna get a long time too. A Big Mac coming out. <laughs> <laughs> well, not only that, if you have enough fiber in your diet. For me, I'm not on there too long. But a cigar <laughs> is gonna burn for an hour or two. You yeah. know, a good one. So you got time to get us some deep stuff there. You know what doesn't burn an hour? My patience, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't think just because you're having a cigar, you have to do deep thinking. You don't have to, but I, I just like to. I used to like cigars. You want to know why I don't now? I'll give you one. Welcome. There you go. Because of food. <laughs> yeah. why, do you hate, why do you hate everything I do? I don't think I could smoke a cigar and not get into deep thinking, you know? Yeah. Really? yeah I see. Again, they go hand in hand. Yeah, they go hand in hand for sure. Uh-huh. Really? Yeah. Okay, yeah. let me think about something. <laughs> you got to be alone, Fuad. Wait, wait, you got to be wait, alone wait. with your thoughts. Wait, 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 wait. Just so I have record of how stupid you really are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's move on. All right, no, come here. What? All come right. On. <laughs> oh, there's a puppy. Where's the puppy? He's smoking the house, Oh, I didn't hear this. Oh, he's in the picture too. Does he have an IG? Oh, I own my house. I smoke wherever <laughs> I want. You are, you are, you are the master of your domain. That's for sure. <laughs> um, that's the that's the that's the best part of owning your own house is if you just want to smoke anywhere, you yeah. can do. It. My old house. You could literally be like, I just had sex. I feel like smoking a cigarette in my bedroom. And you're allowed to do that. <laughs> my old house, Dude, I could do if that. Somebody it's... lit up a cigarette in my house, I would fucking stab them in the eye. With <laughs> that's not their house. But that's not their house. Are you fucking right. kidding me? Wait, but no, that's not no their chance. house. You're allowed to do it and you wouldn't get mad at anybody. Yes, no. I agree. Yeah. But if someone did it in my house without asking me, I'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? You know? Have yeah. you ever had a cigarette after sex? Me? Yeah. Oh, hundreds of times. <laughs> <laughs> that's not like something. Wait, that's not something they just do in the movies for like. Wait, oh, is it oh, really that uh, good? Uh, Ooh, I, you, you've never. I've never. I swear to God. Never in your life. Paul, you for sure have. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I'll, I'll get a full session great. going to the garage after. Uh, after <laughs> <laughs> yes. See, Paul knows. Yeah. I don't think. <laughs> I've never tried it. I don't think it's. Oh, Paul's, it's chain, it's like, Paul's chain smoking in the garage. <laughs> Man, and cigarettes oh, yeah. after cigarettes after sex is the delicacy, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. After sex, yeah, for sure. I gotta calm down after sex, what? Yeah. Why? How fucking rowdy are you getting? It doesn't, it doesn't, not that doesn't, I really get rowdy, but I, you know, I burn doesn't blow in your load. Calm you down. That calms me. That calms me yeah. down. Hey, Fuad. But the sweating lasts for a little while after. Just, sometimes just sometimes I gotta, I gotta just slow down my balance, metabolism. You know? Yeah. Just, Go ahead, guys. I gotta Sorry, calm to raise down. your hand. Um, <laughs> I, I posted that thing right. What thing? And that picture I just took. Mm-hmm. And when I did, your Instagram came up. Yeah. When was that picture taken? Today. Why? It looks oh, like- no. <laughs> a picture. Look like a fresh head to me, buddy. Oh, Look like a fresh head to me, buddy. I saw the, I saw the barber today. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, oh. I couldn't take it anymore. The, the wispy comment from Ian just did me in. I was like, no. Which I don't one? When he I said, said it was wispy. When he said His it was hair? wispy, I'm like, that's so insulting. Very wispy. <laughs> <laughs> or at least well, it comes off very wispy on camera. Before Ian the, said it was wispy. the benefit of doubt a little bit. What? Before Ian said it was wispy, I, I was like, oh, I think it looks all right. right. Can I go shave mine right now? Yeah, do it on camera. Let me see yours, guy. I want to see yeah? if it came in at all. Oh, it didn't. Oh, suck. No, hold Let on. Let me see it. Come on. Oh, let me, you want to say it? <laughs> okay, how many guys on the wait, Mine was actually, the wait, so wait, who said, I think Fu, uh, Jose said mine was the best out of everybody's. Really? No. Yeah, but really? then I shaved it. This is only a let's couple see it. Let's see it. Oh, man. Come on, let's see it. Let's see, come on. You shaved it, didn't you? Because you had a Starbucks date. No, he didn't. <laughs> so let me see it. Come on. Oh, ah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> you got like a line right across there. That's no, nice. Looking like your dad more by the minute. Yeah, right there you got a line. He literally thinks it will grow back in. 
You got two bald spots there, guy. One in the back. I know. It's front. just a fucking light, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to Paul talking like he's got a full head, eh? Oh, I, I got more than guy. You know what? Yes, yeah, really. We're going to solve this real quick. Do I, how many, is it more than 50% of the people on the podcast have hair versus don't? Who does? Me? Well, I don't. I'm, you, I'm in the yep. middle ground. I'm like 75%. You, ben. Justin, Ben. I'm, I'm in the middle because I could do either or. I'm, no, like you're a, I'm like you're a bald. I'm like a chameleon. You I'm like a chameleon. Hair, I can blend in. Denial, I can blend in with the guys hey, right here. Paul? I can blend in with the bald guys. Hey, Paul, guys, uh-huh. guys, still in the denial stage. He is. He's in the he denial stage. Yes. I can blend in. Guy. I can blend. I was there. I can I still blend. I'm, I can blend. If I want hair, you can't. I yes. thought the same thing for a broke. long time. Is your grief is this? Do you know you got to do, guy? You got to get a mirror and look at the top. Yeah, you'll see. <laughs> really, Paul? Really? You got a mirror? Really? That's how you do it? See? You got a mirror? That's what I do. I got to get a fucking mirror. You know what the problem is? All three of us are high on the podcast. Yeah. Ooh, that's not. <laughs> I'm having a great time. I don't have to be high. I got my pen right here. <laughs> don't smoke that live. Is that bad? I don't know if you can do that live. It's legal in Canada. He's in Ontario. Yeah. Hmm. It's legal in all of Canada. He's in his own home. He can that's, do it. That's I can do it. Do Master my domain, fool. I'd watch. He can smoke that and then smoke a cigarette in his house. No, my wife would kill me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'd get in trouble guess, for that. Guess who's not the master of their own domain, huh? My old house I was. I own that one by myself. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. Anything else? Are we going to start questions? Like, man, Fu, at one night, you just need to, like, sit in your basement and play PlayStation and smoke a cigarette in your basement while you play PlayStation, you know? I'll come over, Fu, we'll do it together. Yeah. I yeah. don't enjoy either one of those things, Ian. Yeah, but you, have you used to love Madden. Wait, but but combined, <coughs> you might like. But 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 we I love playing Madden. Switch. Switch. I used to a long time ago, but I don't really enjoy playing video negative games. Negative times a negative is a positive, Fuad. Because I hope that's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to go back to the sex thing. How fucking oh, hard that? are you going that you need to have a cigarette after to relax? Talking just, to me? Yeah, just and why? Try it. Just try it. I just want to know: Doesn't blowing your load make you relax? Yeah, but I, but I, you know, I've still got to calm down a little bit. Like <laughs> sometimes yeah, I got to take a shower. Yeah, you got sometimes the I got to take a shower too. Blowing still out. <laughs> oh, let me ask you this, Paul. Yeah. If you go to a restaurant and you order a chicken alfredo, okay, and it comes to your table and it's got a big fucking brown hair in it, oh, do you send it back or do you take the hair out and keep eating? No, I'd send it back at a restaurant for sure. If I was at a friend's house and they made me dinner or something like that, then maybe I wouldn't say nothing. I would just pick it off. But uh, if I was at a restaurant, I'm paying for that. I would definitely send it back. Uh, well, All right. Let me yeah, ask you the let me ask you the follow up. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a not send it back guy. Let no, why you. you think it's gonna be worse? No, he I just I well care. that's a potential, but I just I don't really care. I would just pick it out and eat it. I don't care. Yeah, you know, and it's not a big deal. It doesn't ruin your food. It like, look, like look, if there was a fucking cockroach in it, I'm clearly sending that's, it back. That's you know? a different story. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I mean it doesn't ruin the meal. Oh, look at how like easily that, you twist look how easily I'm you just I can just understand where he's coming from. <laughs> yeah, that's boy, like, you're such a fucking, you know, you, you I would still send it back. See, like, that, <laughs> see that guy? He was like, like Oh yeah, I definitely send it back. Then Ian says one second. Maybe I'll eat it. You got Every, no, you got you just you just you're like just, the you just brought up a good point. Right. You're like a taco shell. Ian brought like up a good point. I didn't consider shell. that. Paul is definitely the most agreeable person on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> the polar opposites here. You're the most argumentative yeah. person. Easy. The most agreeable person. Am I the most argumentative or you? Me. You are the, definitely the most. This is Me? my opinion. You're the most that guy's the angriest. I'm the most opinionated for sure. You're the, the most, but your something? opinion is that's it. Can yeah. I say something? There's no room. I was actually shocked at you yesterday. <laughs> we were talking about the lat pull down, and you actually bent a bit. Well, no, wait. I'm willing to admit when I'm wrong. I just it depends what doesn't happen off. Just don't like it. <laughs> Here's, a question. Here's a question. Can I be that angry with the blood pressure? They took my blood pressure twice yesterday for uh, a life insurance policy. Two First, one was 96 over 55, and the second what? one was 101 over 55. Isn't you got like to crank, crank the dose up, guy. No, yeah. me, and, me, and guy, me and Guy figured it out. He's so angry that he has no stress. 
He just gets it all out. He talked about this. <laughs> he doesn't bottle anything up, that's for sure. Um, what would be low blood pressure? People want to fucking make fun. I was going to say get that. Get it out. No, no, but I was going to say that to you guys. Isn't that considered low blood pressure? Yeah. Do you feel tired yeah. a lot? What? The guy's never tired. Like the guy's got more energy than anybody. I, I, I think I, guess because so, yeah. I have low blood, like, like I'm on the low side of normal and I'm high strung. That's, you're weird. I, I have low. <laughs> <blood pressure. Sometimes laughs> you're I, I get I get lightheaded often. Really? Oh, that yeah. means you have low breath, low blood pressure. You should. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> no, but seriously, that that's like it's not a good thing, man. What do you want me to do? Your hair looks so good. And yeah, my blood pressure, even like peak off seasons, like barely one twenty over sixty. Really? Yeah. In prep that's shape, good. Be, that's I, really good. But in prep shape, I usually sit like right now. If I took my now, I'm probably like. 105 over 50, 105 oh, over 50. You take well, your guy, your bottom number is that low, eh? Like 50, yeah. 60. No, I, I don't take any blood pressure meds. You know, it's funny. I was talking to somebody. Well, I take this. supplements, but I don't take any. No, meds. no, I know. But I was talking to somebody about this and he was telling me he had high blood pressure. He's only like a 200 pound guy. And I was like, man, it's fucking genetic. Yeah. It's like. Yeah. My mom's I, blood pressure is very low too. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm like, fuck, man. I know people who've done more gear than me or were fatter than me or whatever, or eat worse than me. Yeah. And their blood pressure is fine. Do your brothers have, have it's like you, it's like you like paul you're an example like you fucking you've been supplementing trt for, like, for a long time yeah <laughs> you've been trt for 30 years <laughs> and, and you're bad little test as a kid <laughs> and your blood have, pressure, but your blood work is fucking perfect yeah well yeah the only thing that ever gets high for me is my hemocrit mm -hmm. so I, I give blood to bring that down your um, what not a crit your <laughs> <laughs> What? He just comes out of nowhere. I know. I just saw his head <laughs> pop up. You're, you're, what? Now, you you taking your clothes off more than anybody else on the podcast. Yeah, sure. you, I mean, yeah. What's going on? Do you shave your head with your fucking shirt on? No, I'm just saying on the podcast, you're the you've exposed yourself the most. Are you shaving I, your legs, guy? Do you I look like legs? shit. I'm shaving my head. I'm not waiting another second. <laughs> I can't believe you had a Starbucks date with that hair. Did you take your hat off at all? Look at you. You, see, you know what this is like? This is like the last time you tried catching me in lies for months. The girls, the girls with the daddy issues will love that shit, though. Is that a big yeah. hickey on your shoulder? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Maybe it's, it's a tattoo of lips. Those octopuses <laughs> love it's a tattoo me. tattoo of lips. <laughs> <laughs> So stupid. <laughs> um, what was I gonna? Oh, Paul. Yeah. Second question. Uh, if you encounter uh nine out of ten or a ten out of ten woman, oh, no. <laughs> I know where you're going with this already. With a dirty ass, do you, do you, still, do you still eat her ass if you're not no. married. No. Wait, 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 wait. He's gonna <laughs> watch, how fast, watch how fast he flips. <laughs> what are you imagining when you imagine a dirty ass, Paul? Like, Ooh, I don't say anything. Like, she just like. I'm muting this so you don't hear this. Like, she pooed recently. And, and, but she wiped after. Well, yeah, I hope so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's, it's just a, a normal day's ass. No. Yeah, but a normal day's ass, I wouldn't eat. It's got to um, be clean. That's the question. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's got to be clean. I, 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 yeah. No. I can't. You know, like you sweat all day or farting all day or you know. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> man, I'm with guy. I'm with fucking Paul, man. If you can smell anything, I'm like, Ugh. yeah. No, that's not a nice smell. Oh, I don't care. I like, no, well, yeah. I, don't care. I, care, I care if they're like You're a savage. Whore, you know. No, if it's if it's yeah. a sweat, look, if it's sweat only, like let's say she showered before the gym. Okay. Well, that's all I'm really expecting. okay. That's different than yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's if all she, I'm expecting to smell. Yeah. If she showered before the gym and then she sweat and came home, I don't yeah. care. But, but if, if there's a movement, if she between? took, a, if there's a movement. Yeah, yeah there's no a, way. If there's a bowel movement, I'm out. Yeah, no. <laughs> like, look, everyone's shitting in a day at some point, you know. Like, yeah, I mean, we're not yeah, eating every sure. so, Yeah. So what if what if say she's at home, <laughs> she showers. Then okay. she's like, oh, I got to take a shit. Shits. No. Wipes her ass. Get back gets in ready, there. Wait, gets ready and then comes uh -huh. over to no. your house. No, get back in there. Go back in, the back in there before you come over. Yeah. <laughs> but what she wouldn't tell you. She wouldn't tell you. You'd just be like, oh, yeah, you just showered. I just showered and came over. You think yeah, but if I went down there and I smelled anything, I would get out of there. Just a little yeah. sweaty. Yeah, it's just a sweaty butt. She's if, all I, if all I, I smell, would imagine. If, look, Ian, if I don't smell or see anything, then you're you don't know. I'm then good. You don't know. Yeah, as long as I don't know. 
Okay, but, then we agree. But, we agree. But that wasn't the agreement. Okay. <laughs> we agree. <laughs> no, but, but Paul, when we were talking last week, I said, what if she came to your house? Yeah. And then she went and took a dump. And you know she did, right? And you know she did. Yeah, no. Ian's, Ian's like, I was no, so hey, no way. Really? <laughs> if, he's, no if, she's way. A, if he's a nine or ten and she white good, I'm stopping. I'm <laughs> I respect everybody, that, but no way. No yo, way, not every, for me. Every, everybody shits, man. It's all good. Yeah, I got a weak stomach, though. I, I can't. I can't. No. No. <laughs> I can't. No way. <laughs> Fucking yeah. <laughs> Paul, just gonna fucking throw up on the fucking. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I need to <laughs> Oh yeah, no, I couldn't. No way. All right. Okay, let's do let's do some questions. Ah, uh, so what do we got here? Anything good? Anything good? What are your favorite exercises for each body part? Oh. Actually, Ian, you said something that surprised me yesterday. What? That you didn't like barbell rows. Go back. Uh, I didn't say that. I thought you did yesterday in our text. I said I don't like barbell rows? Yeah. No, I said I think I said how most people do barbell rows, they're not using their lats. Oh, okay. That's different. Yeah. Okay, I can agree with that. Yeah. I thought you meant like you didn't like them, like you didn't get benefit from No, them. I just think when most people are doing rows, they're up too high and they're rowing like, you know, yeah. I said just, that to all I said, upper back and trap. What? Yeah, I said that to Paul today. Just today, yeah. 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 Uh, okay, Paul, favorite exercise for each body part? Just start with arms. Uh, arms. Don't start with arms. Start with legs. Favorite body uh, part? Favorite exercise press. for legs? Leg press, especially that one that you got now, that, that Cybex one. Oh, it's, yeah. It's like the, a uh, hip, hip squat or whatever. It's called, it's called a hip, hip press, I think. Yeah, I love that thing. Um, okay, what about for back? Me? Yeah. Uh, favorite back exercise? Mm -hmm. I used to love dumbbell rows back in my... Uh, competitive days you know i've never been a big fan of dumbbell rows no i felt like for me it was a it was the exercise that that helped me uh gain the most mass on my back i think dumbbell rows are something i do because i know i should do them and i do feel yeah. them yeah but i don't think i feel them as much as like a barbell row or t-bar row see i'm the opposite i never felt a t-bar row or a barbell row as much i don't know what it was that those two exercises seem to add more pressure to my lower back oh so See, that's all I would do was all the exercises that I thought I should do. So I do like dumbbell rows, barbell rows, T-bar rows. Like, you know. yeah, yeah, but that's the, what I did. I, I did that. It, it worked for me. Like my back was it, pretty it good. Didn't, didn't but you it. felt, but what you feel was the most effective of those exercises? I always like T. I always like T-bar rows the most. Yeah, and you were always strong as hell at those. I, I, yeah. I could never get those. See, all all yeah. I did doing that kind of stuff is, and because I, I was doing these movements too often. I never built like a really good connection with my lats, so I just got all upper back and traps and rear delt, mid back. And I got like no lat development until I learned how to like keep the elbows tight and really like contract my lats, you know? I always, so, did, I always sorry. did the more bent over than most people. So I always got more lat out of it. I've always done that, but I still, I don't know. I just, I never felt that as good when doing yeah. that. I think for you, Paul, it's because you're trying to hold the weight with your lower back instead of sitting on your hips. I know. I don't know what it is. I just never, I can never find a, a comfortable position where yeah. I, like the weight is heavy enough and I don't feel any pressure in my lower what back. About, but I feel what, about a, what about that supported T-bar row? Do you like that or no? Because then you're because then your lower back's not really in there, like you, and that, yeah. And then I, but yeah, I know which isolates it better. But I feel like I can't like I'm not supported, so I can't really like. Yeah, I use I, I use that a lot for like my upper back, like hunch, like getting right up on top. That's what Fuad right likes to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's um, your favorite exercise, Fuad, for your back? What you, you always you uh, like? What did Ian? What did what did Ian think? Oh, Fuad, you know what I forgot? You know what exercise I really like? Yeah. Remember that old hammer strength uh, reverse grip pull down? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The I love Dorian, that, that was Dorian Yates. They made that yeah. for Dorian, didn't they? Yeah, I think so. I love that machine. No, no, that wasn't the one they made for Dorian. The one they made for Dorian was a straight, the one that was straight out at Central. I yeah, I think there was a couple pieces, weren't there? That they no, kind I know, of designed but that for one, him? I think that one was called the DY row. I think you're right. Yeah, that one is called the DY row. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was the one where they were like right in front of you. You're talking about the one up high. Yeah, and yeah, I remember yeah. John had a way of doing it where he did one arm at a time, but kept the other arm sort of like we did the other day with held down. Yeah. 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 Ian, what's your favorite back exercise? For, for growth, not for fun. For just back as a whole or like pick a section of back or what? Just just back as a whole. What's your favorite on back day? What's your favorite thing to do? Uh, I don't even know. I don't even think I have like a... I think for me when I was stronger, it was T-bar rows or barbell rows. I was never really, really great at doing pull downs or chins, but I always felt like a really good connection with T-bars um, and barbell rows. All the exercises I do now, I kind of just like like the same, you know? You're a big what? deadlifter, aren't you? 
I used to be, I'm not doing as much anymore, but I, I used to for sure. But I, I thought my glutes started to get a little out of control compared to like my hamstrings and, and quads on them. So I started trying to keep the hip thrusting movements like that down to a, a minimum if I could, you know, Okay. and just try and target my glutes and hamstrings and everything more individually as, as needed. Guy, what's your favorite back exercise? Um, I was going to say uh, T-bar rows, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Which I was shocked that everybody pretty much said that. I didn't say that. I don't know. I could always load up the weight, but it wasn't just because I could put a lot of weight. Like I actually felt. felt, it. felt I, really I actually did them today. Like stand with the, with the, um, did you baseball grip it or use the close grip? No, I use the close grip. Yeah. That's what I did today. I did them actually today. Uh, um, yesterday. I loved it. It's funny because, you know, Joe Bennett had that thing about baby handle and how the, the close grip doesn't do anything. And I'm yeah, like, I don't use the close. I don't use the close grips ever. That's all I ever did. You baseball grip it. I would put the V bar that then goes out straight, you know, and then grab the outside handle. And I would lock it on and then go out wide and keep my elbows tight for it. Yeah. What's yeah, yeah, baseball yeah. grip? Well, you just grab the bar, right? Is that what you're oh, about? oh, like doing like an old school way. Like oh. I used to do that. Oh, yeah, I used to do that years ago. Oh, okay. I've never done that. Huh? Me either. No, right? no, because I feel like it's uneven. Like I'm pulling. Yeah. yeah. It is, but right. I would always just I would I would do one set like this and then one and change set like hands. That. That Maybe makes that's sense, but yeah, not that good anymore. Maybe his butt's imbalanced. What? <laughs> <laughs> You're a real piece of shit. Paul said it, not me. I just jumped out of the way I said it. <laughs> I just can't. I can't for the life of me think why you would do this versus just do it one hand and do it one at a time. That's guy. He, he yeah, just guy. grab the grab the bar with one hand and just do it. You know? Guys got a fan. Guys got we'll a fan. Jump in the fucking DeLorean. <laughs> Go back in time and we'll tell my 25 year old idiotic self. I can't. I went on do. Guy, it doesn't matter. You won seven pro shows. That's all that matters. That's right. That's all you got to say, guy. Oh yeah. Do you know, you you just want to you got to you got to just beat me down to build me up. Just just beat me mean? down. I'm always, I built you up. That was a good build up. up. I'm like that was a good build up. Tell everybody to shut the fuck up. You won seven shows. It was a good build up. <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. We'll do one more. What about uh, chest? Wait, we're done. Well, you guys didn't do legs. Ian, what's your favorite leg exercise? Uh, probably a hack. Hack. Like guy. a good, a good old like Cybex hack, or like I really like the Atlantis hacks, like some of those. Yeah. I don't like the Atlantis hack. Is that the one with the, like the really thick pipes on the side? Yeah, but I'll do it with as like a linear hack with the seat like this. You know? Oh, I don't. Yeah, I hate that one. I love that. Really? Yeah. I always feel like I, my lower back is getting compressed. Oh, I find I get so much depth in there, like with like yeah. so much knee flexion in there, so much easier. We did yeah. that a little bit at uh, the Good Life on Dougal for a bit. Remember, uh, Paul? Yeah, I was trying to you think. Is that, is that where you just kind of, you kind of just sit in it, right? Your ass. Well, look, yeah. on my Your Instagram. The video in of me doing it on my Instagram. Yeah. Most guys do it. Uh, most guys. And it's are like, on there. most guys are on really there doing calves and shit. It really targets like your lower quad, right? Yeah. Uh, Ian, let's see. I saw Brett's most recent photos. He's looking good. I yeah. took them. What do you mean? Oh, you took those photos? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Go down, uh, go down, 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 down. Oh, by the way. Down, down, baby. This made, this made me really happy to see. I know. I was like. Use oh, a band, use one a band leg at a time, too, right? Away. What's that? What's that, Paul? One leg at a time, that leg press. Single yeah. leg. Oh, well, I was you talking can, more you about. You can attach it. You can attach it, too. So this, oh, can you? This is the Elite FTS one. I fucking love no. this. Oh, it's Arsenal. oh it's Arsenal. Arsenal? How many fucking plates you got on there, Ian? I know, right? Ten, doing, nine, ten, ten. So single with leg. a band too. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> with the band. A single leg. <laughs> oh my god! Keep going down. Uh, keep Fine. going. Down. No, not that's a regular hack. Get it, Ian. There, there right there. Looks like yeah. like that. Okay, oh, yeah, you're, yeah. It's not. It's a regular hack, but you're sitting up in it. You can. No, no, there's, the a, seat, there's an adjustable seat. Oh, yeah. I know. Okay. I've never used I see. That. Oh, that's a cool machine. That, that's Atlantis, that machine? Yeah, yeah so it's both. Many... It can be a regular hack and like this. Okay. Yeah, 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 How yeah, many yeah. plates you got on there? I don't know. <laughs> How many Christ. plates you got on there? Jesus Christ, man. Yeah. Well, like, see how deep I find I get so much yeah. deep. Yeah. 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 Is there, and there's no band on there either. No. Like, I'm letting my heels rise on a bit of these. I see that. But I'm getting I... so much knee flexion, I don't really care. And I feel yeah, so okay. Bad. So you, st- you feel that like in a teardrop, like in the lower quads? Oh my God! I feel yeah. like my entire. Yeah, and you don't think yeah. that's dangerous at all for you though, when your heels come up like that a bit? 
No, I'm not challenging you. I'm literally just asking you. You don't. No, like, my, my, it's literally just like the, my base of my foot is still on. It's so minimal. I, I feel no strain through my Achilles or cap at all doing that. Does that actually get, like put more strain on the on the teardrop area on the lower? I feel, I feel more tension on a lot yeah. more. It's like, like when we. I can sink that tension, like almost like a sissy, you know, people that do yeah. sissies on their toe. Yeah. That's, that's what I was thinking. What I'm, I'm trying to do like right in between. You know? Okay. That's like, remember what we used to do like those plat squats on the half? Yeah. But we, your toes? Those, but we used to do Yeah. Like I'm letting, I'm letting the, the yeah, I know. fall in more, but like go back to my, is my Instagram still opening? Yeah. 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 We used to do those with like a plate, Paul, because I, I, know. Didn't, I didn't ever go down. Go, no. we're right. Oh, sorry. Okay. There's what? another, there, that one. See this, I'm doing a pendulum, but I'm doing it like a sissy. You can see, watch. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we yeah. used to do that. That's what yeah. we used to do. Yeah. 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 But you still, you got four plates on there, or five yeah. plates on there. Is there any counterbalance on that? Was there any weight in the front? No, not on the Atlantis one. Oh, wow. Remember, the Atlantis one is the one they have at uh, Movati. Okay, yeah. Who used to use that one? Yeah. Hmm. That's the one that's at my gym, Goals and Bridgewater. Um, all right, so he picked... Hacks guy, what's your leg press? Squ- or not your leg press, your leg, your leg, your favorite leg. Uh, I see it, it's corny, but it's squats. I I, I loved I always that's corny. Squatting. That's not corny. Yeah, Actually, squats. like closer to the end or end of my career, I I think I think my favorite was leg press, and I really started to like the Cybex Smith Machine squat. Remember doing those at Chase's gym? Oh, that was that that uh hack squat. Yeah, that's a tough hack squat. Yeah. The Cybex Smith Machine squat became like I felt really good doing it. Yeah, for a little while. I don't know who said it earlier. I think Paul said it, but uh, about, for another part. But I love those uh, the hip press, the hip press. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the the hammer strength one is the good one, the really good one. Yeah. yeah. No, the Cybex. Cybex. No, the sorry, Cybex. Cybex I like. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The Cybex one. I got that one in my gym. It's fucking awesome. Yeah. Cybex. Um. Okay. Last one. Chest. Got it. Uh, Paul. Go ahead first. Uh, back when I first started bodybuilding, I used to love the bench press. I used to get stronger on all the time. Yeah. Uh, but then after I tore my pec. Uh, Did you care at bench pressing? I, t- I tore bench pressing. Yeah. Um, after that, I, I, you know, probably like a good chest press machine is what I like best now, because that's what yeah. I get the most connection with that strive, the strive, uh, incline press that I have is nice. I, the, I like the one I like better. You have though, who has a seated one that comes together, like oh, almost Paramount, like a press the fly. Paramount, the yeah. One, yeah. 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 Paramount one's nice. yeah. Yeah. Um, I think for me, I, Yo, I gotta, I, I've never even been to your gym. I gotta come train your gym. I want yeah. you to come train at my gym because I want you to try the Smith machine. Yeah. <laughs> I want him to. I want to see how many plates you. Oh man, see. yeah. You for have, sure. Which one you have? The hammer strength, right? No, I have the I carry in, but it has no counterbalance. Well, you took it oh. off, so you'll so never. Like, wait, oh, no. I'm sorry. That's the one that's at my gym too. It's the best Dude, one they make. You'll never see me shoot a video on it because, like, my max is like a plate. <laughs> it's, like, it's, so it's super heavy. Yeah. It's super heavy. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> no. Uh, I think bench press when I was younger, and then. I think uh, flat or low incline dumbbell press became like something I really like doing. <coughs> Ian? Yeah, I'd have to go with some kind of like good, good converging chest press of some kind, you know, like uh, like the good, like a good side back one or something, something that converges really nicely. Like, oh, like the one Ben has, it's like a free, it comes up and together. Yeah, like something like that. So you get that yeah, contraction. Yeah, nice. yeah. You know the yeah. uh, Paul. You know the the shoulder machine I have, the shoulder press machine I have. Yeah, the, yeah, the one, uh, the one where you can go inside, you can go yeah. in or a little so, bit. Yeah, yeah. So the one that the arms move freely. Right. Yeah. Ben has one that's like that for like incline press. It's oh, actually, really? It's actually really nice. Yeah, it comes up and converges at the top. Oh, and it comes together like a dumb, yeah. like like dumbbells. Yeah. Oh, yeah. really? Eh? Yeah. yeah, some of those are really nice, and yeah. even ones that aren't as free as those, just locked in the pattern, and just goes um, that way. Have yeah. you guys? Have you guys ever but seen those barbells? What? Have you guys ever seen those barbells that are designed to come together? They have like a piece yeah. in the middle. They slide. Have you ever tried? Slide. Yeah. Have you ever tried? Yeah, tried yeah. Have you ever no, tried I've never either? tried one. Oh, no. I found it so weird, man. Really? Yeah, I've never tried. It's like you're you're janky for sure. Yeah. It is a. Eh? Hey. Or it feels like it's super fast, and you're like, you know. Yeah. Ian, I don't know if you've ever used the. Uh, you know the dumbbell, the thing, the dumbbell uh, racks that you can like take it off. Yeah, they awesome. ever use that? I don't like them. I have, yeah. I have. What do you think, guy? Because I, I was thinking about. I mean, them, but they're better than. They're a lot better than like not having anything. Yeah, well, because a lot of reason I don't do shoulder press is because like I can't kick up heavy dumbbells. Yeah, yeah. look, they're they're yeah. better than trying to kick up 150 plus pound dumbbells on your own, but they're not better than having someone hand it to you. Obviously. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And like, if I was at the gym, even if I was training alone, I would find someone and yeah. ask them to pass me that, even if yeah, my gym they're... offered those, you know? Yeah, that's I'm probably not going to get them then. Because Dorian and Cody said the same thing. They were both like, nah, they're not that good. 
Good. What about those bench press? You guys like those bench presses that come back I don't back like here? the bench. Remember then, Movadi had those. I don't yeah. like those that they come out. Yeah. No, I don't like oh, that. You don't I like that. They, listen, they have those at my gym. And I I, hate everybody, them. everybody takes a resistant bands and ties them around. Yeah. So they really like, don't. Yeah. It's just, so, I'd, I'd rather, I'd rather oh. bring it out myself or have a partner. Or like, even if, or yeah. even if you have your wrist wraps with you, just take a wrist wrap and do it and, and Velcro it on. And it'll stay. Yeah. 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 Cause I tried those at Movadi when they, when they brought them in and I, was I like, hated them. Yeah. It feels really weird. The Movadi in Ottawa had them too. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh. So guy chest. Uh, I'm gonna say incline dumbbells. Yeah, low incline or high? Low incline or I would high? Say, um, well, if power low, but everything else, I always went high. Yeah, yeah. What were you gonna say again? Uh, Sorry. I was gonna say what I've been doing a lot too, which I've liked a lot for chest lately, is doing dips, like really leaned over for my chest. Yeah, we do those on. John the loved those. Yeah, my, yeah. My, my, well, I love that's them, that's who taught me to do those is John, but I do them on the machine, like a dip machine. Same thing. I do that too. It's great yeah, too. Because I can't. You can elbow. really lean over, really drive your elbows yeah. in, really squeeze yeah. your chest. Yeah, especially that one you got, Fuad, because you kind of got to sit yeah. forward on it. Yeah. yeah, the way it puts you. Yeah, I, I feel that in my chest, like full chest, better than almost anything. You yeah. know what I've always hated about dips and close grip bench? I never shoulders. get. I I always get chest or shoulders or and then triceps. I can never get like guys would always be like close grip bench is the best, and I'm like I don't get the tricep no. come from it. But close you know what I did? Close grip, I, I don't like. No. If I would feel close grip better if I didn't bring it down all the way. If I yeah. bring it down like three, yeah. like a quarter, three yeah. quarters. Yeah, I tried that. I tried that too. But then that's counterintuitive because you think if I'm bringing it down further, as long as I keep my elbows tucked, then I'm stretching out my tricep more and I can get right. more dr drive through the elbow, right? Right. But it never worked out for me. It was always there's, I always there's do. not there's not very many ways to completely eliminate using your chest in that exercise. Yeah, yeah. I think because I'm chest dominant too, it just take over. Yeah. So. I mean, I'm not chest dominant. I still have a hard time not using my chest on, on close grip but you probably like your chest your i mean all your strength numbers are huge but you have a really good bench or dumbbell I did. press i don't anymore but i know but what no? i'm saying is, is i'm that sure because... you still do if you if you, if you I, I don't i don't think i could i there's no way i could bench five plates on a flat bench anymore. okay but i guess what i'm trying to say is do you think back in the day that was from your triceps and shoulders because they're 100 dominant yeah yeah, I mean, okay. and, and my chest was. Yeah, but your chest isn't weak. <laughs> no, no, I didn't say that. It's just because his shoulders are so dominant. No, my chest, my chest was strong, but it just I hadn't trained it properly to gain any good hypertrophy in it. It was just yeah. you know. So Ian, can I ask you a question? Why, why, why do you feel like you can't bench it anymore? Did you have because injuries or what? What happened? No, I just I don't do it anymore. So I I feel like under that oh. barbell movement pattern with that kind of weight, there's no oh, way. I see. Okay. Like, yeah. My chest, chest especially for me. Look, I'm a hundred percent a proponent of training as hard as you can within good form and all these things. Um, but chest is one thing that I have to think about like a lot to make, like my chest has been my weakest thing for almost my entire career. Okay. So to get it to come up has been something that I've really had to like drop the loads. And look, I'm not dropping loads now. I've built back up to that, but dropping loads. I love I that. that was dropping I was loads. Waiting. Yeah. I, I love was that. Waiting for I, like, I, have to, I have to think about, I have to load, think, about, loads. <laughs> think about my reps a lot more than I do everything else. So it's, I'm not like, throwing on five plates and really trying to like crank like that anymore you know yeah right i get it yeah ian do you ever believe so my well i shouldn't say i've always been different but do you ever believe in <laughs> <laughs> do you ever believe in any uh slack in a movement or are you like a proponent of like perfect form all the time uh well slack when in the movement well, I don't mean somebody who's completely fucking sloppy and just throwing. No, no, no. I mean when in the rep scheme at the first rep or at the twelfth rep when you can only do no. two. More. Well, okay, let's just say yeah, that, actually that. Let's, yeah, that's good. That no, matters. No, no, no. no, no. I, I think doing. I think using cheating as a a, a way to get past failure reps is like four more reps or something. Yeah. yeah. Like if I'm doing a curl and I'm keeping it really tight, using a hundred percent just my biceps, I start to fail. I get a little more, get a little more, speed them up, get a little more swing. I'm still using biceps. I'm just using less and. Yeah. A little other things to help out, you know? Yeah. Okay. What about... But you're still bringing it closer to fatigue. Okay. We all agree on that point. What about a little bit of slack or a little bit of sloppiness all the time? No. <laughs> <laughs> with, the, with the prime... I hate to sound like some fucking... I, I just... Yeah. If the primary goal is just to grow to, for hypertrophy then no, I think as absolutely minimal slack until mechanical failure is reached is, is the best. Yes. Okay. So I'm not, I'm not challenging you just for the sake of argument. I just want to ask you some questions. So what about 
Simple guys who have built <laughs> shut the fuck up. What about guys who've built great physiques without perfect form? Genetically well, gifted. Not not all not all humans are created equally. What I can do and what you can do and and you know, Paul and Guy can do is all very different. I mean, yeah. you know, you can get guys like Usain Bolt that might train way less and have way worse form, way okay. worse off the blocks, way worse starts, way worse technically than the sprinter coming in fourth. They're just better, you know. So you're saying so you're saying in terms of all things being equal, having perfect form is going to build more muscle. Yes. Until you reach mechanical. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm not talking about the cheat reps. I'm talking about just in general, like straight reps. Well, yeah, Um, because I think, I think you need to be able to properly isolate and contract muscles. And I think if you're letting things get sloppy and if I'm doing a row and I'm, you know, not isolating my back as maximally as I could and getting biceps and forearms and brachialis and all these things or rear delts assisting, you're, you're not doing as much towards the goal of hypertrophy. Can you still get there? Absolutely. A lot of people have tons of people could, I mean, I built a great physique like that until I was a pro and past that, you know, yeah. Yeah. not a hundred percent, but yeah. do I think it's going to get you all the way? No, I don't. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Well, no, sorry. I didn't say, I shouldn't say it won't get you all the way. I'm saying it's not the best way. No, no, I, that's fine. I just want to know your thoughts on it. What, go ahead, guy. What are you saying? Yeah. Which strand of weed did you smoke? I didn't smoke any weed. Whatever your, he smoked, your, your, whatever your, he smoked, your, your like answers like are like, <laughs> your answers are very intricate. It's just a candle. It's, a, it's the, aromatherapy. The, the answers have intricate <laughs> details that I'm just like, I need this stuff in my life. Is this because it's later? <laughs> at, you know what? Ian's not allowed to do early podcasts anymore. He's only allowed at night. No, I'm, I'm alone. <laughs> huh? I got no wife and no dogs. Why? Because I'm in Florida. Oh, they're still in Canada. She's still in Canada, yeah. Uh, uh, why'd you leave her there? Uh, because I was doing the event in New York, so uh, for the thing, oh, so I was like, I might as well just. Yeah, he was with me. Why, why didn't you just go back home? Or back why didn't you just stay with Guy? I, I want to be here for my prep. I just like being here for my oh, prep. That's right. So when, so when is she coming back? Whenever she's just waiting for her visa interview. Because when you're back in Canada, it's a different process versus if you're already in the U.S. It's a change oh. of status. It's different. Okay. Um. So so yeah. No, we're just waiting for her interview at the Toronto Embassy, and then she can get her visa and come here. Yeah. Okay. How, was the, me, how was the event at Natural Body? A lot of people. Yeah. Was terrible Chris weather. Did, did Chris terrible show up? Weather, no? A lot of people. Did Chris show up or no? Of course, yeah. Yeah. So were all they were they all in line for Chris or did Guy have anybody in his booth? Uh, well, it was there was a ton of people there. I mean, there must there was it was booths everywhere. You know? <laughs> guy, fuck you, man. <laughs> guy was guy was the, guy was the the most popular two twelve guy there. Was it the only two twelve guy? <laughs> Such an asshole. <laughs> That's true. Uh, okay. What should we do here? Who would you two man on a podcast with? She's a blonde ten with glasses. What? Oh, who would I two man? Who would I rotisserie? Oh, <laughs> uh, that's what it's called, rotisserie. That's what I. That's, <laughs> that's what I call it. Podcast? Would you pay? Would you? Two way uh, yeah. a blonde ten with. like double team. Oh, okay. Why does it have to be a ten? If we're just if it's if it's why can't the question just be who well, on the podcast? Would you to not care. Yeah, who on the podcast would you rotisserie with? Because there's a number. I'm not, ma- I'm not doing it with Ben. I thought you were saying me. <laughs> why? Because he's gonna make me look bad. Why you think he's a clank clank? No, no, I'm not talking about being hung. I'm just like I have a feeling because Ben's a pleaser. So I have a feeling he's gonna go out <laughs> of his way. And you're more of a receiver, right? <laughs> So Ben's going to go at it. Well, that might work well. Yeah. Like, who has like, I'm more of the selfish. Right? <laughs> yeah. That way you, you know. <laughs> I'm done like five minutes in. Ben's still going. Like, <laughs> No, Ben's going to make me look bad. So no. I'm going to go with James. Because James is a gentleman? James is going to play with her feet. Yeah. <laughs> James, 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 as he's already said, he's just going to come in 30 seconds. Yeah. Go to yeah. He's going to, he's going to have a hand, like a foot job and he's going to blow yeah. his load on her feet and he's going to, and, and then he'll go take a nap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and play some video games. Yeah. <laughs> yeah James, will look, James, James will look like a little, like, like a, an idiot and you'll look like King Kong. Yeah. He'll be like playing with feet and I'll be like, the fucking, I'll look great. You'd be like, you can have her feet, James. I think Paul and Paul and Guy would be a good matchup. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Guy would be too intense for me. 
<laughs> He'd just be yelling at me the whole time. I wouldn't no, be able to focus on what no, I'm doing. Don't do it. You ain't like, don't do it that way. Gonna be, wait, they're going to be tag teaming abroad and talking to you. <laughs> yeah, no, guys, probably. Yeah, you probably tell me I'm doing everything wrong. Guy's a gentle love maker for sure. No, he's not. Yeah, I don't know. He Paul, you know how many times he's he's a gentle love maker. He hey, goes, he goes go to ahead, war. Go ahead. Yeah, he goes to war. That's what he says. Strap on, strap on the boots. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I got a war, bro. Uh, what was the hardest thing you ever did that made you question your beliefs? That's fucking deep. Oh, jeez. I, I don't I even know smoke, what. I don't I even know what. Pen. I gotta smoke this cigar some more. I gotta hit this pen a little bit before I answer that one. Beliefs in what? That's what I'm saying. It's such a broad question. Yeah. What was the hardest thing you ever did that made you question your beliefs? I'm way too literal of a person. I need an exact question. Yeah, yeah. me and you are very, very similar when it comes to being literal. Because I'm. Yeah, the- I need like pose your question exactly how you want me to answer it. No variance. <laughs> what? Is question- there a time you ever question your beliefs? Any beliefs? What, what? what beliefs? Like in God? In no, Santa? Not just religious beliefs, but any like any of your principles in life. Is there anything that ever made you question your principles in life or your yes, belief definitely. in something? Yeah. Like what? Give me an example. Huh? Well, give me an example. I didn't say I was willing to say. I just said, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on. Uh, have you ever had... Nope. Uh, nope. Nope. <laughs> How long did it take you to bounce back after a bad a bad show placing? Was there any mental challenges that came with it? No, you're not going to win everyone. Next question. You didn't have any challenges when you lost the show? No. On to Never? The next one. No, on to the next one. I did. I think, <laughs> I think when you... I think if you lose and you know you lost, there's no challenge. Like, like a, when I've lost shows and then I know I deserve that placing, then I can go home and go to sleep and I'm fine. When I've done shows and been like, I should have won that fucking show, those I have a hard time getting past. I probably have more seconds than I do first, and I think I should have won all the a, a lot of the seconds. No, but everybody thinks that. I'm saying there's actual ones where, like, the guy who won was like, oh, you should have won, bro. Me too. Yeah, that one I had a hard time getting past. Like, it's, uh, like it, it was hard, but I still got over it in the same amount of time I got over every other one. By the oh. next, I woke up the next day, I was like... Okay, wait a minute. So... I don't want to say I didn't get past it like I was laying in bed depressed. I still got up on the Monday. Sunday, I would eat all day long. And then Monday, I would get up and be like, okay, back to work. And I'd go to the gym. But it would linger like for like a month. I'd be like, fuck, man. Like, I motivate you too, though. Well, I kept training through it. It's not like I just sat on my fucking bed and cried about yeah, it. Yeah. But, but, but that like, you probably, it probably turned into anger for you, which motivated you in the gym. Yeah. But that's what I mean by it not going to like, yes. It was there, you know? Speaking yeah. of food, um, I posted a uh, food shopping video. Oh, I saw the comments on my podcast and or my, I, I my posted, your YouTube. I post, yeah, a uh, grocery shopping um, thing on my YouTube. Oh, I watched some of that. All, all the comments. What was I going to say? Why didn't you Instacart? There it is. <laughs> I've been a very strong proponent for Instacart with Fuad. Yeah. <laughs> when I what? got to Florida here on Sunday night, I got right to the condo and I didn't like on the way back, I didn't want to go to the grocery store. So I just Instacart all my shit. Yeah. The girl fucked up everything. Oh, no way. Oh, that like, and, she, and she gave me items I won't even eat. Like they refunded oh. me, but like now I have a bunch of food I don't want, you know? Yeah. 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 Uh, what part of Florida do you win? Sunrise. It's right between uh, Fort Lauderdale and Did Miami. you get the food you needed? Uh, well, this is the thing. Like, so down here they have 99 one turkey, right? At Publix. She, I ordered 10 packs of them. Oh no. She gave me six that were 93.7. Or sorry, 97, 90, yeah, 937. She yeah. gave me some that were like 85.15, and then oh, like no. two, two that were 99.1. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and that's the, the thing. thing. She she just, they just grabbed all the ground turkey. And then she gave yeah. me ground round ah. instead of ground sirloin. Oh, oh no. I got ground round. I'm like, yeah. I don't, I'm not going to use this. This is totally Wait, what was use, it? Uh, wait, wait, what was it? Wait a minute. Ground you round. Use, you could use ground round. Why not? It's really low in fact. Ground's lean, isn't it? It's yes, 8 it is. by 15. Oh. Uh, re- is it uh, ground eye round? I, I literally just checked it. You want me to pull it out? No, no, no. no I'm not saying you're lying. Say? I'm saying the package, like, that's weird because eye round is supposed to be like the leanest cut of meat you can Eye round is, is. 
Yeah, th- yeah, whatever this is, the ground round is 85-50. Oh, That's ground right. round. I don't know what that is. Which I wouldn't eat. I wouldn't eat. Yeah, because I used to I used to go to the butcher Wait, specifically. You know what it might be for? It might be mixed with something. Well, that's what I was going to say, because I used okay. to go to the butcher specifically. It might be mixed with pork. Because, like, oh. I, used to, I used to eat eye round because it was lean, but it would start to bother my teeth. Eye round has... You get it ground you know, up. I used to go to the butcher and get eye round ground up, and I would... Eye round, it, eye round is so bland. Well, yeah. it's just... It's a really lean... Because it's so lean, yeah. Yeah. Ground round? Ground round. Per... No, no, I believe you. 17 you grams of fat. 112 grams, 17 grams of fat. So, yeah, 15 per 100. Yeah. What is the that, wow. just ground, that, that just means that I think it's just their ground beef. What does the red or the ingredients say, Ian? Does it say anything? Like where the meat's from? Product of USA. No, like it doesn't say, like, does it say I brown? I don't think say, in the US they have to say that, do they? It says 100% beef, 85% lean, 15% fat, ground fresh daily. Doesn't oh. say any ingredients to it at all. That's weird. I'll find that. What are, you, what are you calling? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I got a guy. I'm going to call him my dad. <laughs> my dad's a butcher. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Question. On a package in a grocery store, right? Yeah. If it's said, what are you doing, dad? It's really not that important. It's really not that important. This is going to be a while. <laughs> yeah. You're making a fire? I'm on a podcast. Can you, can you like hold on for two seconds? I'm making a fire. It's 10 o'clock at night. What are you doing? He's anyway. Nino. Anyway, anyway, anyway. What does what does ground round mean on a package of meat? Uh, okay, hold on. Say it again. It was made from the hind quarters. It's called ground round. It was made from all the round meat, the all the hind quarters. All the muscle meat from the hind quarter. Okay. Doesn't mean anything to me. <laughs> okay. He could have said anything. He could have said anything out of it. Like, yeah. yeah right. <laughs> well, he's he's right, but it's irrelevant. You know? Yeah, I know. It's like I don't know what the fuck that means. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that means it's not eye round, you idiot. Oh, okay. Well, you say that. That's <laughs> all you have to say. There you go. <laughs> we he thought it was just eye round, but it says eighty. It says eighty two fifth. What does it say? Eight, 85, 15. 85. It's eighty five fifteen. And I said, well, it can't be eye round because eye round's lean as fuck. Yeah, no shit. I know what that means. I can hear I can hear him yelling on the <laughs> yeah, phone. I know, yeah. Definitely guys dad it. 85% meat, 15% fat. <laughs> okay. Okay, I got gotcha. you. All right, Pop. Bye. Love you. Bye. Um, yeah, so that I know I mean, thanks. That I mean, didn't do anything didn't do anything at all. It just didn't help, didn't help at all. That, yes, it does. That means it's not that's it's not it's, <laughs> it's, not, it's, it's not eyebrow. It's not from the it's not like oh. chalk, it's not <laughs> Also baked junk meat. Also baked. He's literally just been sitting here laughing. <laughs> yeah, two hours. Like for the last little while, you guys, while you guys are talking about this. <laughs> you're, such, you're the most what useless guy on? in the podcast. You're just what are you here talking laughing. about? I'm just joking. <laughs> I like oh, the background. Oh. What was I gonna? What was I gonna fucking ask before the eye around? Oh, yeah, Paul just that's, what was, a... that's what I was gonna. Sorry, guy. I was gonna say to Ian. I told uh, I'm the only one that's on the same planet as you tonight. You realize that? I know, I know. I told <laughs> Whatever, guy, guy. I told guy that I would stop ordering Instacart when they fucked up my order. They've never fucked up my order. Oh, I won't want to Instacart because of- I mean, I probably still won't, but at least they would have an argument if they fucked up my order. They never fuck up my order. It was annoying, but I still would have not rather gone to the grocery store. How do you? Yeah. How do you get re? Like, how do they give your money back? You just say I didn't get. It shows what I, my order it- was. Yeah. And then you go on it and you say that report it, whatever. And then it asks, I took pictures of it showing that these were the items that I'd ordered in place of the ground sirloin. And then they refund for how many of those I had. And also, if you're if if you get a good person that does it, most of the people that have wow. done mine so far have been good. They chat she, with you. They chat with you. Answer one of my messages. I messaged oh, no. her three times because it showed I got a message just like so and so is shopping. Yeah. Well, it said that she had requested to substitute one for one because that one was out of stock. Yeah. And I said no, and, and I anyway. selected uh, just cancel it, and then she yeah. still bought them anyways. And yeah. she did that for two items. Yeah. Yeah. See, so guys, so like they can chat with you while they're shopping, and they can yeah. be like, "Hey, they're out of this thing," and you'd be like, "Okay, just don't worry about it, or replace it with this other thing." Okay. So wait, them. what? So do you? Does somebody come and pick those items up? What do you mean? The person, the person goes a to the grocery store. No, yeah. no, 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 no. The items that 
Ian didn't order. Oh order no, he just back. he gets he, no. he keeps them. He, he just keep gets them. refunded. They're garbage. Oh, okay. I yeah. can always tell those guys at the grocery store, those guys who work for Instacart. Why? Because they run around like as fast as they can with their phones in their hands and their baskets. Just... <laughs> I've never seen one. Yeah, like a I can supermarket see all sweep. Time. You see yeah. them quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're like in the biggest hurry, and they're they're ready. I'm telling you, man, you got to try it. I don't know if they'll deliver to your house because you're in the middle of nowhere, but I don't even have the I don't even have the app on my phone. Listen, if you do it once, you'll never stop doing it. It's a great. I I think it's a great. I literally get I literally get fresh groceries in my house every three days. Yeah, this is the thing. What? You don't leave the house that much, so I would. Go. Guys, Italians, Italians would use that. If this is what this one. You're fucking Italian. You use it. I don't really use it. I would. My wife uses it, but I don't really use it. I would download I'd it. I'd rather go to the store. I told you why. Paul, why? you and your fucking high self, shut up. Why do you want to go? <laughs> wait, no, I want to hear this publicly. Why do, I, want, why do you want to go to the grocery store? <laughs> you need to get out of the house sometimes. <laughs> go ahead, guys. Sorry. Paul, are you here? Yeah. <laughs> Same thing, guy. Um, I would download Instacart. Yeah. Place a huge order. Yeah. They would deliver it. Yeah. And it would be so fucked up the first time. No, it no, wouldn't. And I would be so pissed off. It's you. already negative about it. I know. Why would you have a great would take it out, experience? I would take it out solely on you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'd be calling you, asking you how to fucking take pictures to refund shit. <laughs> Dude, it's not fucking right. And then I'm going to get just, and then, and then I'm going to end up saying, fuck it. And then eating all the money. Cause I don't feel like taking pictures. Yeah. A guy shouldn't use Instacart. Yeah. But you're not, not you're not competing in a show. You're retired. You could eat 85, 15 beef. It wouldn't matter. Like uh, usually, 30 old tickers ticking. Son. It's also easy, man. It's not like hard to use or anything like that. No. Yeah. I didn't say I did a user error. I said it plus wrong shit. No, but they're not going to met men. I've done 10,000 orders on this thing and they messed up one time now. That's Guy, it. can I also tell you why I, I like it more? I actually, yes, first- Fuad, I'm glad you asked me, but you can. <laughs> <laughs> first of all, I spend less money. Okay. Yeah. You don't buy shit. I don't eat any, I don't buy any more shit food because I'm not there at the grocery store putting stuff in my car. Don't buy mini cookies. No. Nope. Yeah. And then lastly, when I used to go to the grocery store, I would buy in bulk because I didn't like going to the grocery store and some of my shit would go bad. Yeah. Now I get shit every three days. It's always fresh. I always got fresh mushrooms, fresh fucking. Yeah. Do you vegetables. pay per delivery or do you pay like a monthly fee? You can do. No, both. you just pay per delivery. You don't pay okay. monthly. per delivery. Oh, you can do a membership fee, can't you? Oh, I don't know. I don't have a membership. I don't, know. I don't have a membership either, but I think Summer does. So I think she pays like a membership fee. She doesn't pay per delivery. Is okay, it a well. standard fee or is it like depends on how far they got to go? I have to ask Summer. Honestly, I don't, I, don't, I don't have a membership. Well, yes. Yes. Order me groceries. Okay. You could do that for somebody too, probably. I will. Whatever you want. <laughs> you got to eat if, it. <laughs> and if the order matches up you gotta to eat what it. you ordered, yeah, we'll do it like live. Okay. You order one day. Yeah. And if it matches up, I'll I'll start using it. You have to eat it. You have to eat the food. <laughs> actually, you, wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever the order is, you have to eat it all. Yeah. 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 Where are you <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I, I don't trust that. All right. If you could travel in time to a certain era of bodybuilding and compete, drugs, posing, etc., will be from that time period. What era would you go to, and why? The nineties, early two yeah. thousands. I go right to seventies. Nineties, nineties, because the drugs were great. Yeah, I'm like right at the end, early, early, early two thousands, late nineties. Yeah. The drugs were still good then too. Yeah, you're going to seventies, Paul. I go back to the seventies, the Arnold days on the beach. Beaches of California. Is it because you want to hang out with them? Yep. I want to hang out with them. I want to train all day. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. 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 No, why? You can smoke cigarettes indoors everywhere. It's right. I can smoke right anywhere I want. I would just lie on the beach after I train. smoke on a plane in the 70s. You You know, I see see movies with that where they're smoking on a plane. I'm like, that must have been horrible for everybody. You imagine the air quality. You don't remember that? No. Really? I never went on a plane where people were smoking. Yeah. I've been on a plane with people smoking, and I'm ten years younger than you. Yeah. I have never. I've never. I never I have. Yeah. I, they didn't get rid of it until like the mid '90s. I don't think. I didn't. I didn't, really, I didn't really go on a plane until like. Oh. I think my first show. I was like 30 when I went on my first plane. What? Yeah. yeah. I, I was like, I think I was like 23. I went to Disney when I was 10. That was a plane ride to Florida. My family yeah. didn't have any money to go anywhere on a fucking plane. Dude. Yeah, mine either. We'd go to the beach around the corner. That's it. <laughs> Get in the car. Go, go to the, go to the, the car, next, go to the, 
go to the next the town. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it rained last night. That's the lake. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You, you remember you remember smoking inside places, obviously. Oh yeah, 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 yeah bars. And, and then I remember like that, the yeah. transition where they had like the vented room. Yeah, like Tim, yeah. Hortons, Tim Hortons would have like the glass room where you could smoke yep. in there. I always thought yep. that was so gross. I'd look in there and be a bunch yep. of people smoking in this box. And the windows would be all brown and yellow. <laughs> that, that, is, that is so gross. That's so they, gross. Never yeah. did shit. they never did shit like that over here. No, they no. didn't do the glass box. in Jersey, of course they did that. No, they didn't. No, they at, didn't, bro. They, they, did they it just went from none to like one to They 100? never put up like sections like that. Oh, okay. Sorry. I thought you were saying they never smoked inside. No, 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 no. They, Guy, did, they did it at airports, though. They must have had it at the airport because all the yeah. airports had like a, a vented section, smoking yeah. section. Yeah. 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 So did colleges and stuff like that. That was fuck. I now remember. everybody fucking vapes and so nobody gives a fuck. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So 70s. What if they don't accept you though? Because then they're all in like one little click. Then you're like the little guy me. that Arnold's helping pose and he's just like, like oh, the little guy. Wait, 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 wait. Me and Franco would have hit it off. We look like we do right now. No. You're you're in that time. Well, even if Paul looked like that then. He's still. I used alive. to have like the imagine long hair Ian in the back. Looked like imagine Ian looked like the way he did now. In the two thousands, he would have been the same size as no in the, seven, in the in the seventies. No, but he said the early two thousands. I know. Where would Ian place at the Olympia in the early two thousands? Seventh. Probably right in the same realm as I already. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's look. I'll look up that Olympia multi <laughs> Let's take 2003. 2003. I got it right here. Okay. Oh, I, I typed in 2002, but uh, same thing. Okay, I got it. I got it. Jay, Ronnie, Gustavo. Oh, wow. Wait, wait no, it. Marcus Rule was eight that year. Right here. It's right, right, right here, Ian. I got it. Ian, it's right here. Darren Darren Charles, seventh? You would have beat so, Darren Charles. Ronnie, I could beat Darren Charles and Troy Alves for, for sure. For sure, yeah. Darren Charles, yeah. So, you're so I could be I could be seventh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. If that's a bad omen, eh? Like, <laughs> I'm just gonna come seventh every single year. No matter why are the why are those guys I'll red? I'll just be seventh. What? I don't know. I don't why know are why those guys red? red? Yeah, I wonder. I don't know. I don't you know. Click on them. It, Lee Priest fifteenth. Why? What did? He must How did that happen? Yeah. That's 2003. He would have been getting near the Flip end. It. Click yeah. his name. Who? No, I think this is one of the ones with the when he had the long hair while well, he wasn't in great shape, right? I don't know. Uh, it doesn't show any pictures of the actual show. Huh. Um, Weird. Okay, what about is 2003 the year in, or is there something else? Yeah, no, it's the year where he had the long hair. Where he no, no, I'm saying for you, is that the year you pick, or do you want to pick a different year? Maybe you can be higher than seventh. Uh, let's say let's, let's try let's... 2005. <laughs> let's see. It's gonna be like Dennis James or something, eh? Uh, Ronnie, Jay, Gustavo, uh, Rose, Hector, Victor, Victor, Melvin, Dennis. Anthony. Melvin Anthony. Yeah, you could be Melvin. You could be Melvin Anthony again. <laughs> <laughs> I think, well, what's a two? What's a two thousand five? Dennis looked like then. No, he was still good in two thousand five, man. Was he still pretty good then? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, he was, yeah. He was good all the way up to like two thousand eight, yeah. nine. Even when he did that master show, he looked great. Yeah, where he takes second, right? Yeah, yeah. He, he looked pretty fucking crazy at the two thousand five Olympia. Ian. You're seventh again. <laughs> yeah, I'm seventh. <laughs> I, I don't think I've beaten that year's Dennis, so I'm probably seventh. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. I could give I could give him a battle, but I'm not winning it. I don't think. Let's Maybe. Two thousand four. At best, I'm six. <laughs> oh, dude, you're like. Chris Carmira, Dennis oh, James, dude, two thousand four is a nutty year. You're like tenth. I would have been fighting like nine, ten. Yeah. Well, that's Victor a good year. Probably, Victor was probably in poor condition to end up that low, right? Yeah. Yeah. He might have been. Yeah. That's and a good year. With Dennis, what Dennis James? Two thousand. What year is this for? I'm trying to help you here, dude. Dude, did, did, bro. Go to 2008 was the year I did it. Let's see where you would have been. Let's see where you were. Oh, I was 15. I, I don't think I could have beat that Dennis James either. So let's see. How many? Oh, but Anthony's sixth. Look, Ian, you could, oh. have been, you could have been as high as fifth. I could have. Yeah, Tony was pretty good that year. Right? So Tony I probably, was actually yeah. great. Yeah. Tony was actually. Melvin was pretty year. good there too. I think I could beat Silvio and maybe that year's oh, Dennis James. Silvio. So I'd still be seven, eight. Yeah. Yeah, seven eight again. Melvin Anthony was pretty fucking dope at some shows, though. Yeah, he was. This is a good lineup too. When you look at it, yeah, it is. Yeah. All right, so Ian's a perennial seventh. Fuck yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky number seven. Uh, did anybody disapprove of you get it, guys getting your tattoos, and how did they react? I was too old when I got mine. My mom didn't like it, but she didn't do shit because I was already like. I got mine at seventeen. Did anybody disapprove of your tribal tattoos? 
I had to ask. First of all, don't fucking say it like that. You what tribe are you from? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got an Asian tattoo. You're not gonna, listen, you are not going to slip by me there, fucking slimy little salamander. From you, got a, you got an Asian tattoo. I always forget. I that got word. an Asian symbol. What is it? It's supposed to mean honor, I think, but I, I don't really know. It can mean anything for all I know. Kawasaki. <laughs> I got a drunk in Montreal Kawasaki. a long time ago. <laughs> uh, does sauna burn calories? Come on. Oh, Seriously? God. Yeah, well, actually, we... sit, sit in the sauna six hours a day. You're good for stage, man. Don't worry. <laughs> No we used to have a friend who had no friend, yeah, a friend don't mention thought, his name. Don't yeah, mention I know. his name. I know. We, we used to have a friend that thought like when he's getting ready for a show, he's sitting in the sauna every day. He thought it was burning fat. I think I know who it yeah. is, Mike. No. No. Well, like you're not you're not a turkey. Like you're not sitting James. in an oven. Like yeah. not... he'd be like, You sweat a lot, you must burn fat all day. Yeah. James? No, you don't know him. Yeah. John. You don't know him. I also I also don't agree with anyone that thinks it's going to make them drier. It's just going to make you lighter, you know? Well, you're going to have a rebound effect from it. Your skin's going to be yeah. irritated. And you're your dehydrating gonna... yourself. You're, you're, you're dehydrating stink. yourself. Oh, really. Yeah. Well, but not even like... in a way that might make you look better, you know? Yeah. You're going to stink. Yeah. You say you're going to stink? Yeah. Why would you stink? You're sweating all day. So, you know, Fuad, you think you sit your, your fucking big hairy ass in the sauna for two hours? You're yeah. No. Imagine what yeah. Paul would smell after two hours in the sauna. No. Oh, God. Listen, would, would be my wife this. has told me for two decades that I don't stink. <laughs> well, I trained with you for the last two decades. So would you... Would how, you many times in, how many times in Not two often. decades? How Not many often. times in two decades have I stunk? It's Not probably... Often. I can probably count on one hand, but you have the ability hey, to stink. In, two, in 20 years, you can count on one hand. That's a good record. Maybe two hands. Maybe two hands. Yeah. I'm not oh, really sure. A rose has but, the ability to stink. Like, what are you talking about? Well, that's what he's trying to say. There. What I'm trying to say is when you shower and you clean your skin, right. right, and then you get in the sauna, it's clean sweat. It's just water coming out. Yeah, but so unless, so unless we're talking about someone who's sweating all day because we're wearing minute. too much clothes. No, 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 that's not what we're saying. We're saying, does sitting in the sauna sweating make you stink? And I'm saying if you shower first and you well, have if you haven't eaten anything like garlic or anything that's going to come out of your pores or fish, yeah. then you're, why would you stink? Well, I guess not in that scenario, no. But I mean, like if you're sweating through your clothes and wearing those same clothes all day, then you're going to stink. Oh, so you're right, because I was I was just at the Nordic <laughs> Spa. Do you guys have a Nordic Spa like up where you guys are? No. What is like, that? The one, isn't there the one up, isn't there the one up uh, in Quebec somewhere? What That's the one I went to. Oh, yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah. Yeah, I want to go there. Week, yeah. Like in, in Gatineau, like in yeah. near Montreal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You what is there? it? It's like a bunch of different like temperature been there, pools yeah. outside and saunas and stuff. Like it's cool. Yeah. You know the oh, only yeah? thing I don't, it's in the mountainside. It's good. You know the oh, only really? thing I don't like about that place? You can't talk. You yeah, can't. Talk. Certain areas was, you can't talk, you but ninety nine percent of the no, not really, man. Why? Really? Only certain areas. Some areas oh, are just a completely normal conversation. Wait, what? Why can't you talk? Because it's supposed because to be some areas spa. are like Zen calm areas. You yeah. know? Where? Oh, that's like it's like meditation or something. Where spa, in those spa, areas? Yeah. yeah, it's in it's in Quebec. It's a, a Nordic spa. It's like but I was just like there. Like, I was just there last week and sitting in like going in pools and then saunas and your sweat doesn't stink. You're right. When I last there, guy, 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 you you, you, guy, you would be kicked out. Like <laughs> oh, he would be able to be quiet. <laughs> All the all the I cursing he'd be doing. Would they really <laughs> kick you out? In the last five minutes, they'd be like, "Would the they kick you out, Ian?" No. <laughs> what? Kick who out? You? Yeah. He'd really? be dropping dropping yeah. f bombs every 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 second oh, yeah. word. <laughs> you, would, you would let him. You would let him kick me out. See, I'm loud. I'm loud, but I can control it at times. Guy, Wait, can't. hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Guy <laughs> can't control it. Whoa. He stress everyone out. I'm guy, loud on the podcast. Have you ever seen me in a situation where I had to control it to say I can't guy, control? It? Guy. Listen. Well, I would. <laughs> You're never we, controlling. We were at your house. I, I was standing three feet from you, and it was like you were screaming, like I was like across the street. Hey, Fuad. I'm just saying you're a, a, a rambunctious human being. You have a lot of energy. If somebody said you got to, so. if somebody said you can't, you got to be quiet here. You don't think I could? You thought I couldn't talk for ten minutes? I beat you. Did you make him a bet once that he couldn't? Oh, coming in hot, bro. There it is, Paul. And you know what's crazy? The look Fuad gave you. Means he fucking knew that ahead of time, <laughs> waiting and praying that we didn't think about it, but we did. That was because oh, it was a oh, bet. Oh fuck are you! No, okay, wait. A minute. That was it was a bet. If you went to a spa with a girl, and they said, "Hey, you can't talk," you would not stay there. You would leave. <laughs> Fuad, I have a question for you. Yes. So, would you eat the ass after two hours? <laughs> yeah, to be honest. I'm yes. totally fine with sweat. I'm totally fine with like. 
Okay, good. If you have it in juices, well, I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm not, na- fine, <laughs> as, I'm not fine with shit. juices. I'm narrowing the valley, you know, because like on one side we have shit, That's and the other the side only... we have normal day sweaty, which you're okay. So I'm just narrowing it to see where the lines are, you know. <laughs> the, the shit is automatic disqualifier. Okay, but now we're up to sweaty post sauna. And shit. So that's where is between there is the line. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so when we find when this next thing after shit is that cuts you off, then we know exactly what your your tangibles are. You that's know? where I'm at because there's nothing worse than sweat. So it's like sweat and then there's shit. What if there's? Uh, well, I need more time to think about that. I there's think nothing. he's okay with clear bodily fluids, but not unclear yes. bodily fluids. <laughs> yes. Once there's any coloring, then I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't think anybody wants that. Yeah. Um, Man, these are some deep questions. What's the most impactful thing that has ever happened in your bodybuilding or personal career? Oh. Example, meeting someone, winning a show, piece of advice. Love you guys. Oh, and honestly, how often do you drink? Off-season versus prep. Fuad, run for president of the USA. I didn't make that up. Sort of got it. <laughs> um, You're not American. I know. Um, how often do I drink? Four times a year, probably. I remember the last time. I'm, no, probably, last I'm probably between between one and four yeah 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 yeah. me too yeah um as far as most impactful thing that has ever happened in my career meeting guys next question (laughs) (laughs) uh most impactful thing was meeting john hands down uh meeting john in my bodybuilding career in my personal career deciding to start the podcast Next, anybody else got anything? Oh, okay, we'll move on. Not much of a career. <laughs> what ha- what's the most important thing that's happened in your border agent career? <laughs> well, you have an impactful thing in your judging career. The podcast has now catapulted you into. Well, I like to think that would have happened anyway. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> Ooh, I just robbing your fucking best friend. <laughs> I know. No, I'm just joking. Me. I'm only kidding. No, no, think about Selfish. it. Selfish. No, no, wait a minute. So you've been. Judging for what twenty years? Amateur, yeah. Like all of it together, twenty years. Yeah, yeah. So, is it there? Is there an impactful thing that happened in the twenty years that all of a sudden made it? So now you're a pro, or like, is there anything that happened? Somebody you met? A you judge you um, things, right, Paul? Yep. Yeah. Um, I would. Yeah. Well, the podcast definitely has had more opportunities for me for judging. No question about that. Um, judge me, right? I judged my first pro show, Guy Sisternino. Gave him, bro? gave him a gift. You, that's Paul's first Niagara pro Falls. show, my last Niagara. pro win. Niagara Falls, actually. And I didn't um, know Paul. He tried yeah, I didn't to know guy, yeah. He judged yeah. me more than once, for sure, right? Uh, not in pros, no. Just uh, as oh, as amateur. Yeah, I judged you in the Ontarios. Okay. Um, I think that was the only time I judged you as an, am- as you an amateur. Did you have him winning? Uh, yeah, Ian was a clear winner at that show. It was like, I remember, I remember, you don't want to hear a story about this? I remember this because in the morning... Remember that show was is a very big show, right? And it's yeah, takes it many hours. And so, you know, I try not to leave the table during the most important ca- classes for me, at least like bodybuilding classes, because you know sometimes I got to use bathroom though because you're sitting there for what so long. What classes do you leave the cha- table for? <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't do your hands like that. <laughs> okay, go on with your story. Sorry. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Wow. <laughs> But in the case of uh, of the Mother year that Ian did the Ontarios, I couldn't help it. I had to go to the bathroom so bad I couldn't wait any longer. So I had to leave. And when I, I missed Ian's class of super heavies, when I came back, so I didn't see Ian in the, in the prejudge. Yeah. And the finals, when I saw Ian, I was just like, man, I missed this already, guy. Like, yeah, like it, was, it was a clear-cut winner. Everybody else had already picked him, though, even though you're gone. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. just hadn't seen him myself yet. And then, you know, yeah, it was like... So it wasn't that you turned the tables for him or anything? No, 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 no. He, he, he didn't need my me to... Yeah, well, it was a clear-cut winner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like Ian and everybody else at that show. Who was, I was that like show? One, I was one pound into the Supers, too. Do you one really? Remember, was that what it was? Yeah. yeah. Do you remember who was... That's usually how Supers win, though, because usually the guys who were like... At that age, guys who are like 240 are usually out of shape. Man, I, I worked with Greg and we didn't weigh check my body weight once during the entire prep. Really? Greg, who? Doucette. Oh, Did really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we so, didn't. I, I, I had no idea what my weight was. I just showed up the weigh in whatever category I was in. I was going to compete because I went to win the overall. And you worked with him? So, wait a minute. So, did Greg, he was talking about Greg, Greg Doucette. So, yeah. did Greg, was his changes all based on your pictures and shit? uh yeah mostly in feedback yeah but i mean well, i'm not... just saying because you didn't check your weight so he obviously yeah, no, never... never checked my weight no wow good for him that's yeah. fucking great yeah. would you ever coach somebody like that 
uh, strictly off pictures. I mean, I think I could, but I would prefer not to. And I think it's not, I think like there's no, no, no I'm not saying it's good or bad. I'm just saying like yeah. you as a coach would, you prefer to get weight, right? I, I would prefer it. Yes. Yeah. I think it's a feather in Greg's cap to be able to fucking, cause it's another variable that you need to know. Well, I think. Greg, Greg, Greg cares about conditioning over everything. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. like what you weigh is irrelevant because we got to get all that fat off at the end Body of the day. Fat, so we're yeah. just going to fucking crank you down, you know? Yeah. 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 But one thing Greg, did do is i ate very little but i did almost zero cardio to get in that condition see i don't know if i like that approach as much as eat more do more yeah i'm not saying one to the other yeah. i'm just saying it's no no i'm like not my condition yeah. doing this no cardio you know this isn't like a flame on greg at all i mean there's a lot of people that have that strategy i think no no, i'm not even saying I, the strategy i'm just saying it's yeah, crazy yeah. that it, now i think to yeah. getting condition without doing any cardio i would be fat there's no chance you know yeah i don't think that's true I, isn't that something George Ferris still does? Like he just yeah. his guys don't do a lot of cardio, do they? No, they minutes, don't. You're right. 20, no. minutes, Twenty minutes. Yeah, really. Like, that's uh, it. Yeah. Okay, but I mean, I don't do a ton more than that now, anyways. I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like a twenty to thirty minute guy a day, like you know. What's your favorite side to go with a steak? Good, like all like garlic mash with like Marsh, cheese and all that. Potatoes. Yeah. Oh, like wait. a fully loaded baked potato, you know. Fuck, I think mashed potatoes, and I also think like I like grilled asparagus and mushrooms. I like fries, fries. Yeah, with yeah, steak. Of, yeah, yeah. In, Europe, in Europe, that's a popular thing. They do steak fries, and steak frites. And fries. Steak yeah. and frites. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> steak and frites. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I like roasted potatoes with steak, man. Yeah. I think I'm. I like the whole thing, like mashed potatoes and asparagus and mushrooms. Wait, if you go to the keg, what do you get as your side? Mashed potatoes. They have the garlic mash there. It's yeah, they do. They, they do them really good there, for sure. Yeah. Anywhere if it has a good garlic mash or like a good like fully loaded baked potato, I'm getting yeah. that. You know? Yeah, yeah. But yo, nothing. Did you say yours nothing, nothing beats a good Wendy's baked potato. Ooh, you know how yeah. many, you're gonna laugh at this? When I was prepping back in the day when I was younger, I used to be traveling for work for sales, and I didn't always have my meals with me because of whatever reason. Or if I ran out of a meal, I would stop at Wendy's. I would get a grilled chicken breast sandwich. I would throw away everything. Or I would just ask them for the breast and they would put it in like in a tray by itself. Mm -hmm. I get a grilled chicken breast sandwich or just a grilled chicken breast and a baked potato and I would eat that and that would be my meal. Yeah. And I counted it and I'm like, that was not real chicken. <laughs> the potato is a potato, but it worked. I mean, it's better. Uh, like, like what else are you going to eat when you're out? Right. Like right. The, other thing, the only other thing I can think of is like, if you go to Swiss chalet, which for those of you in the U S is like Boston market, I think. Um, Cause then you can get like, a chicken breast there or if you go to kfc i guess you get chicken breast and like peel the skin off yeah yeah they used to have uh boneless skin yeah, even chicken, if you get fried chicken and it still isn't the, the oil still inside no, you know what i remember i remember a flex magazine that said it, i can't remember the exact nutrition facts but it was low but if you got a fried chicken breast and you took the skin off if you took the skin off and paper toweled it it'd be okay yeah you're not yeah. like it's not that bad like I wouldn't obviously optimally do it, but if you're in a pinch, it's it's definitely better than nothing. Ever see those? Probably, yeah. Do you ever see those KFC fucking chickens, bro? They got like eight wings. Roy did that. Yeah. Look those bitches up, Fuad. Fuad. Yes, sir. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Wait, I'm looking at. You know nobody can see what the fuck it is you're doing. How many calories? KFC no skin. It's not even a full question. What the fuck? How many calories in a KFC yeah. extra, extra chicken? Without the skin. Yeah, check that one. 214 calories. Yeah. That's not bad. Wait. Yeah. The breakdown is 28%. 28%. 28%. That. But 28%. Yeah. That's 28%. How's that? That's 28%. That's not oh, like... okay. Yeah. Sorry. 28%. Yeah. But still, that's high for a chicken. Yeah, but it's still, well, still... That's 28 grams. No, that's 28% of the calories. Yeah. Okay. It's yeah. yeah. Calories. So uh, I wonder if I can hear. It's nutrition. still high, no? It's It's not amazing, but. So seven. Why is, me, why is it giving me daily values? Just give me the fucking number. Oh, well, there's there it oh, is. Here, seven. Seven yeah. grams of fat. That's not okay. Bad. Yeah. Listen, if you're in a, a fucking sodium, man. like what's a what's a chicken breast anyway? Four grams. So you're oh, so probably. Yeah. yeah. You're adding an extra yeah. three grams. You're adding an extra three grams, but you're in a pinch. So it's better than eating like because I know some guys would be like, oh, I don't have any food, so I had a cheeseburger from McDonald's. Wait, no, go back to that for a second. Oh, I just closed it. He cut. Oh. I remember reading an article once where they did it. They did an experiment in all these different fast food places and checked the meat to see how much actual meat was in it. Yeah. And Wendy's wow. rated really high, actually. Who? Um, Wendy's. Wendy's. Um, Subway rated really low. Well, so the meat was like all filler. 
There's seven oh, grams of fat in 140 shit, grams. Yeah. One breast, bone and skin removed. So seven grams of fat per 140 grams. It's not that bad. No. Yeah, for sure. That's 100 grams. Five grams yeah. of fat. That's almost <laughs> like a fucking. That's almost like a regular. That's not chicken terrible. Breast. No. A lot of sodium, eh? That's look it up. Wait, wait, wait. Look it up. What a hundred grams of regular chicken. Uh, this would be chicken. this would be good pre-workout chicken with all that sodium, you know? Yeah. Uh, hundred yeah, grams. Fucking pump from your oh. two grams of sodium. Uh, what the fuck? Just give me a Chick Fil A. Looking for Chick Fil A. What are you talking about? Why is it was at the top of the list there. Chick Fil A chicken. What do you know? We we just want plain chicken. Chicken breast. Narrow your search. Right down there for it. Meat and skin. Meat and skin. Meat and skin. Tenders uncooked, I think. It's yeah, right at the bottom. Meat. Very bottom. Yeah. Very last one. Yeah. yeah. All right, it's tenders. Yeah. That's like breasts. That's right. That's oh, right. Uh, no. Uh, you want cooked. 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 Oh, you want cooked. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, guys. Yes, it does. Oh, it absolutely does. No. Microwaved. Well, the fucking mac the, the macros count if you cook it or not cook it, bro. Yes, All but right. it doesn't matter which one we look at. They're both just relative to what the, no, the other one was hundred grams cooked, peeled. Uh fat. Yes, I know. Is twelve point nine gram. This is wrong. So guys. three. It's not tenders. No, yeah, not no. three. What are you talking about? Three. Right down there if we had three. It's total Tetri- fat. Oh, total fat. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, this yeah, yeah, not, yeah. This is not right. Yeah, no. Well, or maybe it means chicken breast tenders like chicken nuggets, you know. Yeah. Breast meat only, raw meat only. Yeah, there you go. Right Breast meat only. 100 grams is three grams of fat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's so, not far off. Three versus yeah. five, and that's on 100 grams. So. so, yeah, that was both 100 grams. So it's an extra yeah. two grams of fat, but you're fucking, you're stuck without food. So that's the one to go to. Yeah. It's better than not eating. Yeah. Okay. Let's do one more. I think we did the no thumbs or no big toes. What? Would you rather have no thumbs or no big toes? No thumbs or no, no big, big toes. toes. No big toes. No big toe for sure. But you wouldn't be able to run or jump. Oh, your balance would be super dirty. Yeah. How are you going to jerk off with no thumbs? Oh, yeah, no, no yeah, thumbs. I go with the toes. Oh, you could. I'd lose my toes. No, but I mean, is it like the whole thing that like makes us like? Yeah. like how that, skinny is like, your wait, wait. How, <laughs> how, how skinny is your dick, guy? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, look. <laughs> Well, you'd have to. <laughs> well, you'd have to. Hard you know, isn't you'd opposable have... thumbs one of the best, like most, like human? Yeah, that's things, what makes you know? us fucking. Yeah, yeah. We definitely need the opposable thumbs. Yeah. You need okay. to use both hands if you had no thumbs. Yeah. 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 It'd be like you're like in like a like a clay. Well, I mean, comparatively, comparatively to the other fingers, you'd what? be better to just what have these two and lose yep. all three of those. Yeah. Versus yep. These three and not these two. Oh, like Justin. Justin's doing fine. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, he's got his finger in his index. You're good. You know, mm-hmm. if you could change one percent of anything in the world, what would it be, and why? One percent interest rates. Mm. <laughs> Smart foot. Smart. What a selfish fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to change? One percent of crime. Okay, so one was- percent <laughs> of world hunger. Who had? That's uh, millions of people. <laughs> yeah. but, I mean, yeah, sure. I don't know. What's a good? What's a, like a good thing? I don't. <clears throat> Finding a, cure, of finding a cure country. for cancer. And that wouldn't even be that much. Like 1% lower. 1% is not going to do anything. Yeah, it's not going to do nothing. If there was 1% less crime, there'd still be a lot of fucking crime. Yeah, that wouldn't be enough. Yeah. Oh, wait, only uh, 1%. I thought it was if you could change anything. Wait, what was yeah, the if you could change 1%, 1% of anything in the world. Oh, yeah, 1%? Crime is too big of a number. Not I'd make the summer is a little not bit cooler. Po- not poor cent. Per cent. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you need to be, you need to pick something specific in crime. I put, I put on to it. I got you. You'd have to choose like killing babies in crime. You know, you could have Jesus to be- Christ. Well, no, because if you see crime, as, if you see reduced crime as a whole, it's too broad. You know, <laughs> he's a horrified guy. <laughs> what I said makes so perfect high. sense. You just look, at, with- look how high Paul is. I know he's, fucked, he's so fucking fried. It's like it's ridiculous. You I thought Ian was. I thought high. Ian was high, and Paul fucking exceeded him by like a mile. He looks normal to me. I don't even know. He looks normal to me. He says. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the same thing about it. I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> uh, okay, my, my mom's watching this. Like, oh my god, his fucking eyes. You know? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? How many how many holes does a straw have? Two. Yeah. What is that? Is it a trick question? One dumbass. 
oh my god it was <laughs> i gotta cut that part out <laughs> <laughs> you gotta leave it it's one hole all the way i know through. i know I'm oh fucking... yeah right. well just got it now <laughs> yeah <laughs> i don't feel so bad because so at first when you're like two i'm like yeah it's got two i don't There's feel so bad paul, in the middle. paul was last one to get it <laughs> yeah uh fucking what is this guy maria de lorenzo 92 you fucking got me um, let's see last one workout no if you have a gay dream when you're sleeping are you gay <laughs> <laughs> guy i'm curious what you think about this I'm, yeah this is why i started laughing because i looked at guy I'm like i'm sure what guy's gonna say guy this. what do you think is that what do you, how would you feel if you woke up and you're in a gay dream you'd feel fucked up wouldn't you guy's gonna get roasted no matter what he's if says i if, if i woke up freaking out I'd be like, all right, it's cool. No, like you're having a dream, like, you're having a dream you're getting your dick sucked and then realize it's a dude. But you were enjoying it. What? Like, what? imagine you had a gay dream, but you woke up with a boner. How would you feel? Yeah. Oh, God. I mean, you're Wait. a little gay. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to. <laughs> it means you're a little gay. Look, I, I'm the, it's only gay if you're a gay guy, and I'm tending to agree with Paul here. Yeah, I think so, that, that means that's a so if I'm having a dream, you're fantasizing about men. Yeah. yeah, I've no, never had a No, just because you dream dream something, it doesn't that. mean you were thinking about it necessarily. Ah, uh, it might though. Listen, I've been. Yeah, I've by, there's I've many been... nights I've dreamed about killing Fuad, and I haven't done that. Yeah. Well, you probably uh, you probably have. I uh, I don't know, like, because that's I, something that you must have thought about before. I like, I've never have. had a gay dream. No way. How many how many straight sexual dreams have you had? Oh, tons. I don't, I don't, I don't sleep, sleep long enough how, to have. How many gay How many gay sexual dreams have you had? Never. Zero. And none of us have, so it kind of goes to show what Paul's saying. You know? Yeah, I think so. If it was just dreaming and it was whatever, then straight people would have technically as many gay as many gay dreams as straight dreams, but we don't. I mean, like if you like, if, if like let's say in your dream a guy started hitting on you and you woke up, then you okay, you're good. What yeah. if you had a boner? What if you had a boner? What if you had a boner? Then I think you. <laughs> That I think there's something going on there that you're yeah. not dealing with. I, I think I agree. With, I agree with him here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're because... definitely you're leaning on the side of gay here for, so, for sure. Okay, now that we've established that, guy, if you were getting hit on, getting hit on, or had uh, some type of sexual interaction with a man in your dreams, and you woke up with a boner, how would you deal with it? You, just yeah. hot, you wouldn't tell yeah. anybody. Would guy. you just pretend it didn't happen? He would, yeah, he tried to bury it deep in his <laughs> yeah. memory. He'd, he repre <laughs> he'd repress it. <laughs> it's like, it's like a lot of gay people. Do take, that take, an ice, <laughs> take an ice bath. <laughs> just got, you just got to go to you just got to go to church and pray it away. Yeah, pray like, go, away. Wa go watch a better no report. I think an ice bath and go to confession. Yeah, go to church. <laughs> Wait a minute. What if it happens, and you're fucking? What if it happens to one of us and we're married? What? You then mean, you're the divorce whatever it happens, yeah, what if yeah. it happens to Ian or me or Paul and you fucking have a, a gay dream and you wake up with a boner? Like one of it happens to one of us. What are you asking of me? Wait, I'm gonna think I'm this. I'm asking you, I'm asking. Or a guy two. dreams of one of us. No, no I'm gonna just you can't hey, no, stoner, 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 follow me for one second. Who me? Both of you. Both Ian, of you. <laughs> Paul, and me. Yeah. Right? The three of us. Okay. If we have the gay dream and we wake up with boners. Yeah. I hope you said. What There's, the fuck do we do? Because you're not happily married, then obviously you've got. Well, this is uh, what I think. This is head. what I think. I'm gonna justify it this way in my mind. Okay, this is how I'm gonna justify it to myself. Like, I'm <laughs> you're, you're, this is how you're gonna justify it. To <laughs> this is how you're curious. gonna justify it. I'm just curious. Your, I'm just <laughs> this is how you're gonna justify it to your high self. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. No, to myself it. all the time. Is Go that ahead. I've had two five thousand, joints. I've had two thousand straight dreams. I've had one gay dream. So I'm like 0.002% gay. I'm good. We're good. Yeah, but why is it happening all of a sudden? Uh, uh, just one snuck into the algorithm, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what happens if it's recurring, though. But like if they time. become recurring there, that's yeah. what I was going next. If they become recurring. Oh, if it's recurring, then you've got something. Wrong. Then you've got a problem. Yeah. yeah. One, okay. one is, is different. But if it so let me ask you. So let's say six months in a row, twice a month, you have a gay dream and you wake up with a boner. You wake up. You wake up there. Definitely gay. Okay, yeah. wait a minute. Wait a minute. So the question is, at what point do you tell Melissa? I mean, what? Look, that you wish you had, what? What? That you wish you had a penis? <laughs> no, that you got to tell your wife at some point. You're like, hey, I keep waking up from these gay dreams. The first one, I would tell her and laugh about it. You know. Okay. 
I'd be like, yo, I had a fucking gay dream last night. That was fucking whack. And she would tell me I'm a homo. We'd laugh about it. You know? <laughs> the second one, you'd be like, <laughs> the, second one, one. Start, the second one, you'd be like, hey, honey, strap this on. <laughs> when it what starts about- to become recurring, then yeah. it gets different for sure. Yeah. yeah. So, so 20 dreams in, do you tell her or you just don't tell her again? Well, this depends. Am I not having any sexual interest or fantasies about my wife anymore or am I? No, you're still banging your wife. Oh, Are you still attracted to her and everything? Yeah. Maybe you're bi. Then I'm buying it doesn't really change anything in terms of my relationship to my wife. So you know, you don't. So you don't tell her. I would probably, uh, I would probably tell her. Yeah. You think it would bring up some insecurities in a relationship? No, I don't think no. so. Not with Melissa. Do you think you start trying yeah, maybe, kink- yeah. kinky shit? I you- say, so, man, I say so many weird things. There's very few things I could say to Melissa at this point in our lives that would surprise her. You know? Yeah. You guys seem to be pretty open with each other. Yeah, like there's almost anything weird I could say. I'd be like, I did this, or I'm thinking this, or I'm doing this, and she wouldn't be like astonished, you know? What are you laughing at guy. <laughs> <laughs> Poop on me. Poop on like, me. Poop on me. <laughs> See, but I would I would hundred percent say that to her and she would just laugh. You know, that would be yeah. okay. Fine. He's different because he's got a really liberal, kind yeah. of open relationship. Paul, <laughs> do you keep it all to yourself or at some point do you say something? I mean, like, hey, I had a gay dream last night. And I, I would definitely keep that to myself, and I would try to, I don't know, get some help for it or right. something. I, I would not be, uh, I would not be in a good place mentally if I was having issues like that. Yeah, go Lock ahead, box. Get yeah. some help. <laughs> talk to somebody. I talk, I tell you, Fuad. I tell you about it first, though, and I'd you know I'd be like, what would you tell him as a friend? What's your advice? Back yeah, then? what would you say to? Yeah, me? what would you tell? What would you tell yeah, me? What would it? tell me what you would say? I like, I had a fucking dream last night, man. Some. Usually the size of his dick and, in I, and I would say, and what happened? It was. And you'd be like, no, I'd say, well, I'd say, what happened? Was it a no? Nightmare? You would tell me that I'm gay. Huh? I'm telling you right now. Let's have the conversation. Start. Okay. Fuad, okay. I had a dream last night about a guy. You just gotta try. I'm giving you my actual. I'm giving you my actual reaction. Okay. And then you I would laugh. Say, and then I would laugh. laugh. And then after that, I would say, I would say, what happened? Having a dream and some guy was, you know, we're having sex. <laughs> having sex? Yeah. Did, did you like it? No, not at all. It was weird. But I woke did up you... with a boner. <laughs> <laughs> this, is all, this didn't happen. I want to make me clear this here. Is this, is a, this is a hypothetical conversation. <laughs> like, like, Paul, I'm a little worried, man. I'm like, maybe you're gay. I don't think so, Fred. Did you tell your wife? <clears throat> no. Are you going to tell her? No. What are you going to do about it? I don't know. What do you think I should do? Do you still think about it? It bothers me. So it's not like you want to, you don't want to jerk off to it or nothing? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not happy about it at all. <laughs> this, is, this is enthralling. <laughs> I'm trying to get into this. I'm trying to get into the part. <laughs> it feels so, it feels too real. It feels way too real. <laughs> I'm literally crying. I am too. <laughs> you know what's going to happen now, Paul, right? People are going to take this and make a clip out of it or something like that. You, you know the bodybuilding of bollocks guy is totally going to oh, take that. Gonna be the best. <laughs> that's oh my God. <laughs> All right, that's a perfect ending. Yeah, <laughs> well, we, didn't, we, didn't, we didn't solve my problem. Uh, yet. I look like I just look <laughs> in my eyes right now. We'll, we'll uh, solve it on the end. My, we'll my, I don't know what I would, I know what I would tell you. You're gonna go train what? Biceps now. What time I'm talking about? It's ten thirty. Well, you're yeah. in Florida. It's eight thirty. Oh, you like training that late? No, it's ten thirty here. Oh, oh, is it really? Oh, you train as late at night, Dan? <laughs> my second. <laughs> I, so two days a week on my chest day and my back day. I do the arms, like instead of chest and tries in the same workout, I just separate them, but only those two workouts. So you do three sessions, like you do cardio and then two training sessions. Yeah, but I have a condo gym and my condo gym is w- way more than enough to do arms. So yeah, like yeah, I went yeah. to the gym to, like I go up, wake up in the morning, go do cardio, Yeah. come back, eat a couple meals, go to the gym and train. Yeah. And then I do my just buys or tries later at night. Yeah. Okay. Have another two meals and then go again. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, uh, it was fun, boys. Yeah. I, like, I like stone Dean. Yeah, me too. Oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> Look good to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's just a candle. It's just a the candle. Yeah, you, guys a candle. Realize, you guys realize we did an episode, guy shaved his head while we talked. <laughs> yeah, about, I know. And nobody said anything. He just, like, yeah. he just shaved his head. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of just got lost in the conversation. Yeah. Guy, are yeah. you okay? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you dealing with? Nothing. You want to talk about it? Still fighting with your girl? Did you have a gay dream? <laughs> <laughs> I can help with that, you know. Yeah. Um, all right, boys. I love you. I'll talk to you guys okay. next week. See you guys. Good night. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share with your friends, and like the video. And if you get a chance, check out the description for all the different links to all the different places you can find Hostile and myself. And lastly, check out Hostile.com for our new line of supplements and all of our apparel and gear. Thanks again for watching.